name of Jesus, Muhammad, and Buddha, and all of them. All right, y'all. Catch your cameras on. Y'all know what time it is. The best night of the week. We was just on the call. Oh, Lord. Let me see this here. Good morning. This is... Okay. Antonio Tartar, he said that on the end of the needs one time a day. And I provide that. When I just sit down there, bleed it in the heat possible. Yes, ma'am. All of this sounds very wise. I am with both you and him. Let's get it. Bam. Okay, so what we're going to do, Dan, I'm sending you a message from, hold on, y'all. This is, only reason I stuck at this is a hospice thing. Sending you a message that I need you to read well and interpret. And then I'm about to send one more message. Hold on. Trace is going to be a little late. She's, feeling, she's finishing up with school. Understood. Okay. God bless her. There we go. All right. Now, cameras on. Cameras on. All of your cameras on. I believe Grace told me about um, Queen Chi um, in a situation. So therefore, I do respect Queen Chi's camera off. This, this, this class you can't hide. So it's not me being a camera Nazi, but I believe Queen Chi is in a similar situation as mine. So I do respect your camera off. I have no... yeah no disrespect for for that kind of situation well it's not disrespect but i i i empathize with you um my my mother has extreme mental health issues you don't be homeless for 37 years and not have mental health issues and now she's hallucinating and the mere fact that i'm still standing is an act of god but I don't make things about me so you don't hear about that but i can assure you if you ever want to know what me and jerome are going through we'll tell you by and by it won't be now it won't be now so i do understand but just know that uh, some of these days are very rough rough in a way in which we can't even explain so queen chi if you need to keep your camera off i do understand i have no idea i just found out what did you tell me grace so was it yesterday? It was yeah. It feels about right. So I just found out yesterday. So I I have I can only adjust according to the information that I have. So that's that. But just know that you know some of this stuff is rough. Some of this stuff is rough, and you just you'd be surprised. So I'm, oh okay, caretaking is rough. Oh well yeah, caretaking is rough. I just opened up my chat for the first time. No doubt, caretaking is rough. Ask Jerome, he's been doing it for three years. Ask Antonio, he's been doing it for uh, two months. So it is rough. It is rough. Uh, shout out to Kim. She got her and Antonio over there. So she's going to cut her camera off for about 45 minutes. She'll be back in a little bit. You know, so I'm saying, that's, that's, don't worry about it. That's just me being messy. Don't worry about it, child. Y'all, don't worry about it. So we're gonna pick up what we were worried about. <laughs> I don't know why I'll be messing with Kim like that. <laughs> it just feels so good. It feels so right, though, Molly. It really does. It feels so right. I understand. All right, so we went to makes you happy, sir. Whatever you know what it does make me happy. I I feel saved now. Really, okay. I, yes, I, I feel like I've done my job. My, Oh, there we go. I've done my job. There it is. Oh, okay. I got it. All right. Let me see. Okay. Let me, I'm going to give you some, this class is the best class we do. It's also the nicest that I am because it's the real me. 
I don't really necessarily get to be the real me throughout the other classes. I'm always the real me. Don't get it twisted. I'm never a fake me. But what I am is the lower level of awareness or the most, the more distortions are present, the tougher I have to be. And that's for any ascendant master. So when you're talking about the level of consciousness, the more we have to come back that, that low level energy. I don't have to really do that here. All of you should be pulling out your letters now. All of you should be pulling out your letters. I left my letter at home. It's okay. Just, just remember. So if you left your letter at home, that's kind of the point. You just proved my point, Grace, that I get to be real me. So it's okay. But if you left your letter at home, then I want you to remember some of your stuck points because we're going to go through them. I want you to, and I need you to give your real you a voice, cut on your cameras, not, not Queen Chi. I believe Sandra's at work, so she don't have to, you know, and then Fabia, have, she always has on the camera, so it's not an issue. But you were going to remember, well, you don't burn your letter right now to six weeks from now. I need your letter to survive for the next five weeks. Yes. Deanna, so don't burn your letter no more. Okay. All right. All right. Put, it your, put it in your bra. All right, ain't nobody going. Oh, ain't nobody going in the bra. At least I don't think so. I don't know. I don't know why. Wherever you ladies hide stuff, hide it there. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Okay, but wherever it is, wherever it is, hide it there. Now I want you to think about this. For I have some preambles, a lot of them. This week has been since I'm. I'm gonna use. Do, do you mind if I use me as an example so you all? Don't get offended by yourself. Gotcha. Now, anybody? Okay. Go ahead and use me as an example. I will not get offended. Fair I, enough. You'll, I you'll need to be told. Well, I do understand. You'll be one of my examples. You'll be one of my examples for sure. But I'll I'll help you be one of my examples. You're a co you're a co example with me. I'll start off with me to be transparent to set the field. Okay, Adonia, that's what I do. My goal here is. The rest of this class is easy. It's tough due to the content matter, Kim, but it's not me being tough. It's not me. It's the content matter. You know what I'm saying? So what we have is, and now some of you of low level, if you still have trauma issues, if you still hate men, you don't believe a damn thing I'm going to say. You hate it. You hate me. You're always going to hate me. I sleep with every chick i ever know uh, give me give me what else queen uh not queen Chi, uh, amanda give me what else give me, what else do sorry men do i'm abusive i'm controlling uh, come on yeah yeah i mean you might say help me out you know with all men are dogs tell me manipulative. how many dogs. I'm manipulative i never said the truth i'm always lying I use lazy. my lazy. I use my platform as aggressive. A, aggressive. Uh, I, I always want my way, and uh, you get it, okay? So we 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 can we can go on for the next sixteen years, and still never say nothing new. All right. So now now that we're here, let me use myself. I I know for sure that someone who 100%. Deanna knows, Grace knows, Antonio knows. It's actually an office. It's not even an office secret. It's an office. Why does she keep trying knowing this man going to shut her down? Okay, now some of you are going to say that's him talking about him, but I really need you to understand something because we're going to go through A, B, C a lot and then we're going to go to D and possibly E. So why you think I'm talking about me, Antonio, I'm not. I'm setting up this phone call. Is this clear? I know for sure, Adonia, that somebody in this network is doing their very best attempt to convince people that I have 
slept with them. Oh yeah, there's no doubt about it. Who? I know you ain't finna that's, say who, but that, that was the black already, in me right there. Already, okay, I'm sorry. I'm gonna say who. Wait a minute, can you repeat that? That's please? it. Also, in love with you. That's all. Okay, right. somebody is trying to say I slept with them. Okay, here's the deal. That's not the point. The point it's is not me. No, no, it's not Phil. It's not Phil at all. The point is my reaction, not their thingy. Now, Grace knows, Deanna knows, we actually have an inside joke about how this person always is trying and I always shut them down. We know, you know. It's not about me, Fabby. I need you to hear E and D. Now, somebody, Kim, is going to say me. You look at him using this as a first off. I don't care what you think about me. Because if you got a negative opinion of me, you got in this class for free. I'll wait. Did I push that point? Some of y'all got in this class for free. If you got negative feeling, you got in this class for free. And if you always get things from me for free, you never really heard me. Therefore, you never really know me. Therefore, every time you've ever interacted with me, it's never been facts, but the habits of your auto suggestion. You won't believe that now, but I will take you through E and D, and that will be made clear. <clears throat> but Amanda, I'm not talking about me. What I'm doing is using me. Because if I talk about y'all, y'all going to be mad. So I'm talking about me. Is this person wrong, Kim, about trying to convince one, two, five of y'all that I slept with them? <clears throat> no. <clears throat> Phil, is there anything such thing as wrong? No. Is this person right that I tried to sleep with them? No. <clears throat> it's not. It's not whatsoever. Deanna, unmute your mic. The good thing about Frida Antonio is Antonio is consistent. <clears throat> Deanna? Yes, sir. If I tried on planet Earth to sleep with Fabby, what would you say? About my behavior, what would I do? Oh. <laughs> What would I do? <laughs> you you would actually tell me. Thank you so much. You can unmute, you can mute your mic now. See, y'all don't know that about Antonio. I tell Diana way too fucking much. Way too much. Way way too much. Way too much. Way too much. You don't know that about me. I tell her way too much. I know more than the average wife. Trust me. More than. More than. More than. So let me let me help you out real quick. A lot of what Sandra thinks about Antonio was here before she met Antonio. A lot of what Jamal thinks about Antonio was here before he met Antonio. This is very important, Kim. Y'all have been getting breakthroughs or missing breakthroughs because the information you had in you before you got to your breakthrough determined how you caught your breakthrough. You're not listening. It's all right. <clears throat> what I did, Damali, is I used me as an example. Did you know, Damali, your name is very close to the Indian Festival of Lights? Okay, the other Google Indian Festival of Lights, which is coming up in 60 days. And look at the name of it. Look at the name of it. 
Well, Damali does mean beautiful vision, so. But that makes sense because there's not, there's not, there's not much different between African and Indian. It's not much different. <clears throat> they were, Pangea sits them on top of each other. It's not much different. If you change, I'll let her pick it. Look, look. it's called Diwali. And what's Damali? Festival of Lights. So your vision in Diwali means light. It's not much difference. Anyway, <clears throat> maybe they don't know. Now, somebody right now, Adonia is thinking Antonio is trying to defend himself. Antonio is trying. Y'all have never in your life seen me defend myself ever. I don't care if you personally hug me and put your lips on my lips. You may never see me defend myself. I don't argue. I would never defend myself. Adonia, do you know why I don't defend myself? You don't have to. Give a fuck. No, that's not it. <laughs> you because don't have no, to. Because there's no reason to defend myself because everything is right. So your opinion of me is right no matter how much it grieves my soul. Your opinion of me is right. And I have the right to walk away from that opinion and create something new if I want to. I'm trying to get you to see something. So while you may be irritated, Otis, I'm being very kind. I don't care about what you think about me. Also, I'm a contradiction. I absolutely only care what you think about me. It's both and I'm setting up C, D, and E. So right now while I'm talking, all of you grab your letters. You're going to need them a lot tonight. Because every time you get a stuck point, Somebody text Talisha because she's been sending me her letter all week and she ain't here tonight. I mean, she literally every day. Send was her the message, here. <laughs> you sent her directly. I mean, she genuinely was sending me every piece of her letter this week. And another thing, what about this part? Should I put this in? And today so I was like, yeah, you should. You should put it in. You should put it. <laughs> Amanda, all your letter needs to be in there. You hear? No, it does. All your letter needs to be in there. Why does all your letter need to be in there? Because Antonio, they go to Lisa right there. Because Antonio is full of crap. Antonio is also not full of crap. But if you ask your trauma brain what Antonio is full of, it's never going to give Antonio a break. You're going to catch it later. I have a quick okay. question. Yes. Do are the the thoughts from your trauma still intrusive even if trauma is by definition intrusive. Trauma don't care about you. Even if you've released don't care. Okay. First off, releasing trauma ain't got nothing to do with the fact that it will be there the next time you happy. Uh, okay, thank you. The next time you say, you know what, this man will never cheat on me. Your trauma going to say, yes, the key wheel. Remember what happened last time? Because let me tell you something. <laughs> it's so damn intrusive. First thing, if it don't intrude during the day, it intrude in my damn dreams. Yes. Yes. Okay. The man just said that one right there, right there. Now you be a man to be like. Then I wake Lord. up. All, I wake up in my trauma, and I'm like, mm -hmm. I don't want this today. That's how I do. It. That's how trauma. That do. is the worst feeling too. When you wake up it like is. that, you <sighs> really don't know where you are, what's going on, and all you're all it up is. in your head. It is. It is horrible. It so is. I think I, I think my trauma shows up a lot in my behavior, and this yeah. is why I, this is why I think that. Okay, so I want y'all before she finishes. I want y'all remember. Trauma shows up in my behaviors while I was telling you a personal story about me. I'm coming back to it. Go ahead, Trina. So it shows up in my behavior. So last week, 
My supervisor retired, the office manager. Is that right? She was retired based on how I went off on her in the office meeting like a couple of months ago. And then I reported what she said to HR. So she not there anymore. Exactly. So that's how it showed up. And I felt like I had to protect the sanctity of black women Treat based it. on what she was saying in the office meeting. Because you know, I can't have that. Right. But who made you responsible for that though, right? Right. 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 That's deep. But after I did it, there were several women who came up to me and said, thank you. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. But who makes me responsible yep. for how other ethnicities yep. feel, think, or say yep. about us? And I am not the guardian, it. but some type of way, I became the guardian. Yep. And that's based on my trauma. Right. And guardians get knives in their backs, don't they? Right. Yep. Yep. Look what happened to Jesus. He was a garden, huh? Was that not? No? Yeah. No? With Jesus? Ain't nothing happened to Jesus, huh? Yeah. Jesus got out here smelling like roses, huh? Yep. And they tried, and then yesterday they pulled the retaliation. Mm -hmm. And this morning, I pulled the retaliation. Because so we're not going to play them games. So there's a law of policy never choose a side. And in corporate America, never choose a side. Never choose a side. Never show yourself choosing a side. But we're, that's a different conversation, but I am going to help you with that now. The same trauma of those women of color that told you, thank you for standing up for us, is the same trauma of those women of color that will let these dominant culture women, men, let you lose your job and they gonna say nothing. The same yep. trauma that make you say thank you is the same trauma that make them keep silent. You need to yep. be careful. You can put that in relationships too. The same trauma, the reason I brought up why, I got you, I got you, Pappy. The reason I brought up why this person, we, D Grace knows, Deanna knows. I have curbed this woman so many. I literally told this, I literally told this chick, I say, listen, you gotta go talk to Yana if you want to sleep with me. Did I not? Yeah, look, y'all know exactly who I'm talking about now. Cause y'all remember this story, huh? Yeah, I did it right in front of y'all. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Look, 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 look at their faces. Uh -huh. I'm still, I'm still dumb to this. Uh, Grace, if you can text me. Grace, so nope. Don't, don't. That's Play irrelevant. That's Play irrelevant. Little. Pay attention to the point, not the information. The point is. What was my reaction? This is the first time y'all find out. I've been knowing about this. I've been knowing about this. This ain't new for me. Because as soon as, as soon as this person trapped another person, they text me. I've been knowing about this. And my reaction to either person, I don't care. Do what you want. Say what you want. Because you are over your trauma when you are willing to let people talk about you, then that's perfectly fine. So you're not paying attention. So your A, B, and C is it. correct. Wow. When it don't matter what you say, I don't care what Frida talking about me. Cause if I ain't did nothing, I know a lie will always find itself to be true. So what I said to said person, with that fake old prosperity, I'm good. I'm not tripping. Everything is good. That's it. That, that, Y'all like to do that. Y'all love to do that. Yeah, your harvest don't say everything is good, but mine does. So I say again, Jerome, either you're right about me and I'm losing everything I got because you're right about me or you're wrong about me. And God is just like really weak and wimpy and ain't punishing me. 
it's up to you. But how dare you go through 21 weeks of this class of me telling you harvest is important. And if you ever are right, look at someone's harvest. And if they got more than you, according to what you think is more, then you wrong. Do I care what Phil thinks about me? Absolutely fucking not. Do I care what Phil thinks about me? Absolutely fucking yes. It is both and. So do I care what Phil thinks about me before I got here? Shit, that's his problem. Do I care that my actions have caused Phil to think a certain way about me? Yes, yes I do. Absolutely, and that's the difference. The difference is I understand, I can't control what Adonia thinks and her bullshit perception that I ain't, that, ain't got, that her mama gave her, I ain't got nothing to do with that. But do I care what Adonia thinks or how I treat her? Some of y'all mad at people who ain't never cussed you out. You're not paying attention. So I'm talking about A, B, and C. A, this is what happened. B, this is what you did. C, this is how it made you feel. Thank you for explaining that because That's I've been right. sitting here trying to figure out <laughs> how I care and don't care. So oh I don't God. care because... Because I don't, I don't care because what you think is your issue. Did I do something to, to create that feeling? That's exactly why, Grace. That's exactly why. That's exactly why, uh, Trinace. That's exactly why as well. I'm going you, to the bathroom. You got both hands. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> exactly why. Because, because I, I can't say too much. But because, you know what I'm saying? Like, some of y'all, like, I need you to think about this for a moment. Some of y'all mad at your mother. I told somebody this. I told Antoine this in confidence this week, uh, two days ago. I'm going to tell it to y'all now. Antoine was checking on me, you know, some spiritual stuff. And I was like, man, I appreciate you. I've come to realize that God really looked out for me by not letting me be raised by my mother. That wasn't a diss. I wish my story was like Phil's. It is not. My mother got some serious mental health issues. And before, and, and I could tell that, well, I don't want to say what I could tell, but there's a difference between the cancer attacking her brain and the hate she has for me. There's a big difference. There is a huge difference. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be transparent because I'm trying to help you. You don't have to think I'm helping you. But I ain't raised my voice. And here's the cold thing about it, Amanda. I ain't made a single thing about me. I'm talking about me. I got you, Fabi. I promise you I won't forget you. But I ain't made a single thing about me. And my mother... has done a lot of stuff. That's why I can't be in on these calls. The mere fact, y'all have no idea what it takes for me to stand. You have no idea. You have no idea. But thank God for Deanna. Thank God for Grace. Thank God for Phil and Susan. Because you have no idea. But I want to tell you something because I'm getting ready to talk about D and E, Trinace. So what is D? Y'all write this down real quick because I don't want nobody to think, because here's what's going to happen. What's going to happen is somebody ain't going to say, see, they, he is gay, he all right. That's because you are a piece of shit. And you got your own thought process of authority figures or men figures or women figures or whatever that may be. That's you. That's, that's you before I got here. But I want you to take D. D is challenging thoughts. And I want you to write. Do, do y'all still got the screenshot I gave you? Do you still got the screenshot? Because I think yes. I did, didn't I show you this whole, whole screenshot, Grace? Yes. Man, Grace, share that joint on the screen, man. Show that joint on the screen, man. Because I, I showed you the big picture. We're not going to do the big picture. 
but I believe I showed y'all the big picture just to let y'all know last week I wouldn't come in at y'all and I was so kind last week I didn't say a single word but there are folk Adonia that the moment I say write your letter of big trauma you get mad at me I didn't I'm not the one who molested you Okay, so there it is. Right? Read that, Grace. And I'm going to get ready to send you another one. Let Adrian and Deanna read that, Grace. Read okay. that. This is important. A is activating event. Something happens. Shooting a Vietnamese woman while in combat. B is the belief of stuck point. So I tell myself I'm a bad person because I killed a helpless civilian. That's right. C is the consequence. So what I feel is guilt and anger at myself. I know all about that. If you don't have no bodies on you, you'll just never understand. Anyway, shut, shut, shut off, Grace. I, I'm going to take myself too far. So, but for Otis, somebody's going to say, look at him talking about himself. Here's D. Let's make this clear. D is use challenging questions to examine your automatic thought from section B. So everybody look at B. Grace, show your screen. Show B again. So before y'all think, oh, there he go, using his platform as a bully pool pit again. That's not what I'm doing, Fabby. B is the belief, the stuck point. I'm a bad person because I killed the helpless civilian. Or he got me messed up because he cheated on me. He left me this way. B is the emotion, how you feel. B is your interpretation of the event stop your screen grace b is your interpretation he told me he was faithful to me she told me she cheated he cheated he ain't shit that's b he always judging me that's b can y'all understand that b is a stuck point and it's the most important point to what i have told y'all so far is this clear so yes. if you if you did your homework you if you did your homework i set you up fabby i'd say write down all the shit that they got you fucked up about it's what i said and you what you wrote down was a whole bunch of bees whole bunch of stuck stuck points now, Grace, if you got to take your headphones off, because everybody around you need to hear this. If you want to. Now listen to me. Listen to me very closely. I need y'all to hear me on this. While you think I'm talking about me, that's not what I'm doing. I'm saying, what's the evidence for whatever you got in me? What's the evidence against whatever you got in B? Is it a habit or a fact, whatever you got in B? Does it include all the information, which I'm going to break down. Don't worry about it, what you got in B. Does it include all the none words, what you got in B? Is it extreme or exaggerated, what you got in B? Don't worry about it. I'm going to break it down. Does it focus on just like one part of the story, your part of the story, your part of the story, your part of the story? I, let, me, let me stop right there real quick. I dare one of y'all to sit up here and tell me 100%. I dare one of y'all to unmute your mic and tell me that whatever you pissed off about, about somebody focuses on their part of the story. I dare you. It's always my part of the story because your story don't matter. It's me. Thank you so much. And the only time you'll consider somebody is when you say, but he know better because she did him the same way. He did her the same way. That ain't they part of the story. That's your belief about they part of the story. Come on, help me out. Abby, Fabby, you got a pretty smile, right? That's, you get what I'm saying? That ain't they part of the story. That's what you think about they part of the story. How dare you let somebody talk about Amanda? and you believe what they're talking about. That's called gaslighting. Deanna, Google the definition of gas. Put the gaslighting definition. Here's the deal. Old, if you black or brown, this is what your old folk taught you. And that maybe it's white, but I know black or brown. I don't know 
old black folk and brown folk said this here. Baby, hold on, stop your screen real quick, down. Baby, beware the dog that's bringing the bone. They trying to buy a jury. Those are two different sayings. I combine them both. Is there anybody else out here that heard this here? The one that bring the bone is the dog. Beware yeah. of somebody telling you they side of the story. They trying to hide you from the other side. Mm -hmm. So if somebody, yeah. if somebody talk about me, I'm not talking about me. I'm just talking. Remember, I use me so I don't offend you. If somebody talking about me and I never made an attempt to call you and tell you about me, that means you should absolutely not trust whoever the fuck came to you about me. Phil got a whole story about that. Somebody tried to have Phil be some person talking about whole stepdaddy. Phil, do you mind telling us a story? Because I need them to hear it for somebody older than me so they can understand. Anybody coming to you telling you what the truth is, that ain't the truth. That's called buying a jury. You've never heard somebody tell the truth in a form of gossip. Y'all pause and receive that. The truth ain't never came to you in the form of gossip. Come on, think about it. I want you to think about now your human experience. True. That is true. Nobody ever said, girl, let me tell you what happened. And it was, you know, <laughs> now if they say, uh, come to, not, not gossip, but uh, let me tell you about yourself. That is how Antonio always comes, okay? You, you want me to tell you the truth or you want me to, that's what he does. <laughs> so you know, you know. You got to force the truth out of people because they be trying, they be trying not to say nothing. You, well, the, you, truth, the truth ain't juicy enough. We got to have, nobody going to listen to the truth. They going to listen to what's untrue because the untruth sound better. If somebody ever came to you and told you the truth, they lying. Is there anybody who ever had somebody come to them and tell them the actual truth? I am very interested to see who, who says yes. Because I've never seen it in my life. I'm not telling you it's not possible. I've never seen it in my life. So this is the thing about the truth. The truth is always secret. Point taken. The fact that people are molested by family members all the time and they hide the truth and then they let that the person truth. still come to the to the family reunion and tell the child, cover up and don't sit on dude's lap. Right. So we start controlling people because we know the truth. So if Queen Chi got a best friend and she see her best friend cheating on her man, Queen Chi going to be like, I'm not saying nothing. The last thing she's going to do is go volunteer that truth, huh? Please tell, please tell me where y'all have seen the truth volunteered. So I need you to receive. What, do we have 100% agreement that truth is never volunteered like that? The truth yeah. is never volunteered on the platform of gossip. Because people are not going to accept the truth. So I need you to get. And even when they think they're telling the truth, is half of the time we lie to ourselves. If they think they're telling the truth, you're in the platform of gossip once again. Mm -hmm. So I need y'all to receive this. I need you to receive this. Half the stuff y'all mad at people about didn't come in the form of truth. It came in the platform of gossip. And you never went and verified it with that person, that thing, that whatever. Down to Google the Google the definition of gaslight. And gaslight comes in one or two forms. There's the definition on the screen. I'll give it to you while I'm not even looking at the screen. Number one, I gotta convince Fabby that she crazy. As soon as Fabby convinced me that she not crazy, well, fuck it then. Let me convince Phil that Fabby crazy. So she, she wouldn't believe she crazy. So Phil, let me tell you about Fabby. She crazy as hell. That's gaslighting. That's what that is right there. Okay, y'all talk about gaslighting. I mean, quick. you're not lying. I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's facts. That's science. Go ahead, talk about. 
just saying. <laughs> we all got a little crazy in us. It just, you know, I guess it takes yourself or that certain person to take that crazy out of you. My ex-husband posted a whole post on Facebook because he couldn't control me anymore. So in order to gaslight me, he posted a, a post on Facebook for everybody to see. It was funny to me. My son does that to his father. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Talk about it. Talk about it. Uh, about he it. does it to him all the time. But he mostly does it if he, if his father says something to attack me. Right. And then that's when he, he will act the hell up. Right. But I left work today. He came to get me. He said, mommy, who in this office um, doing stuff to you? Who in here? I said, uh-uh, get up out of here. But when it comes to protecting me, he on it. And he will put you on blast and don't care how he, how, how he look or what, how anybody feel period. You know, it's crazy because now, now that I'm single, um, a lot of people told, I lost a lot of friends. I family, Mm -hmm. I walked away from it all. My best friend that was literally my ride or die. Hold on. Stop right there. Deanna. I want you to Google high involvement, abusive relationship. High involvement, abusive relationship. Don't share it till I tell you. So I'm gonna share after she finished. Go ahead, go ahead, Fabi. So I I've been in abusive relationship. I mean, I've been abused all my life, all my life. Ever since I was a little girl, I was abused from my grandma, from my grandma to my mom, from my mom to from the family. It goes on and on and on and on and on. So it had stopped. Um, after I realized I became the abuser with, I'm going to name him with Alexis, which is my ex before Juan. I, he was such a good guy. He would tell me the truth about myself. He would tell me like, you're, you're being abusive, you know, like you're being controlling. He would tell me all these things. And I'm like, man, you just, you just ain't a man. You don't know what it's supposed to, you know, I would put him down. And I became abusive with him and he never once in our three and a half years of a relationship, he never once put hands on me ever. Stop right there. Hold on. Stop right there. That's the people y'all hate the most male or female. The people who do the most for you are the people you hurt the worst before she finished. You won't eat that. True. You're going to eat that. So eventually we s- split up. A couple, like about a year, I was single, almost a year I was single. And then I got with Juan. Everything was great. And I mean, honeymoon every freaking day with Juan. However, right away, right off the bat, which now I'm realizing, you know, but it's okay. Right off the bat, he started showing very uh, he was very jealous stop right there diana share your screen yeah i need to idea i do this for a living don't you forget what you're about to say i need to show you high involvement so i'll stop your screen Diana. y'all think so here's the deal and most of you i say this with respect the biggest culprit of this are empaths What I'm about to say next, well, in this case, well, probably, but this may not apply to you right now. But in this case, y'all not feeling like me, but in this case, man, there's too many cameras. I'm only Queen Chi and Adonia got permission to have that camera off right now. Jesus. In this case, high involvement, abusive relationships start off abusive from the jump relationships don't get abusive they begin abusive and the biggest culprit of this are empaths 
empaths are some, I, I got you just empaths are some of the biggest narcissists on the planet. And you <laughs> use your empathy to shield you from your empath. Watch this here definition. Go ahead. I, that, I, I know that's why that's why I said you and Queen Chi. Go ahead, Deanna, share high involvement abusive relationship, please. All right, let's go with. Let me let me see this. Let me see this first one. I, I want to let me see this first one. I like this. I, I like this. I like this here. Let me see. Keep going. I want to see. See if you see high involvement somewhere in there. I like that. So high involvement is the number one sign of an abusive relationship. Adonia teaches it. What high involvement means, you're not going to find it right now, Deanna, because I gave you a weird search. Well, you can stop your screen. What high involvement means, get ready, Fabi, you're about to continue. Stop your screen, Deanna. What high involvement means is, I get with Otis, but I'm an empath and I've been hurt before. Or I'm a controlling narcissistic man and I've been hurt before. So Otis, what we're not going to do, we're not going out no more. Uh oh. All that basketball, I got a headache. Can't play basketball no more. Uh oh. Thanksgiving, I don't need to be with my family. I'm with your family. See, y'all missing it. That look like love. What it is, Trina, is I'm not letting Otis out my damn sight. See, I missed it. I'm going to that church too. I ain't even a worshiper, but I'm going to church. I caught it. Mm -hmm, me too. I'm not letting Otis out of my sight. That's so your control. family. That's my family. Hey, mama. Hey, auntie. That ain't even the old auntie. It's called high involvement relationships. What that means is one of the first signs of an abusive relationship is Fabi can't do a damn thing. What's your password? Give me your email. Oh, y'all don't want to fool with me. See? Oh See? my God, <laughs> shut up. I swear. I didn't, I didn't. I Why you got your phone this way? Come on, I, go ahead. Go ahead. They not with me. Go ahead. I'm a real estate agent. Okay. I'm a real estate agent. Like, I don't know. I, I love Juan, but he got me fucked up. Who is fucked that with the who head. is that going to the house with you? What you wearing when you go there? What's the code to the what's the code to the to the key thing? On my WhatsApp profile picture. Put your, put your location I'm, on so I can know you're safe. When I'm feeling pretty, you know, like us girls, we we take selfies or whatever. I'd appreciate it if you change your profile picture because you're showing your boobs. Like I didn't see all that. I saw that like, oh, he loves me. Like, oh. Like him wanting like to, you know, the family thing and do all the, just, I didn't see it. I didn't see it. I saw it like, damn, he really loves me because I didn't have that in my past relationships. The one that That's wasn't it. abusive, the one that wasn't abusive. Let you be free. Yes. Yes. And, and I that's... didn't know why. I'm like, he doesn't care about me. No. He gives me space. He gives me too much space. Like, what if I'm out there messing around? Did I like, I, I didn't know what a healthy relationship was. I didn't. I didn't. She and he gave me that. She my is blessing y'all. She is blessing y'all. Come on, my stop, stop totally... real quick, Fabi. Hold on, stop real quick. If you was... Excuse you make me. me want to take a shot. <laughs> I would just you should go get you a shot. If you was dumb like Fabby and passed up a whole thank you for letting me be free, man, or woman, to a whole damn, that's that's what love is. Go go ahead, unmute your mic and let her I've know. Been there. Thank you, I've been there. Me too. I have yeah. been there. Mm -hmm. The dude uh -huh. the dude that added value to her life was a loser. But the dude that took from her life, but added love and oppression to her life. You're going to make me winner. cry because he literally took 10 grand from me. 
I lent him 10 grand <laughs> that he owes me. And I'm like, can he at least pay me back my money through PayPal? <laughs> but I thought I was being like, you know, the ride or die girl. Cause I, you know, I was being there for him, trying to help him make money for us. And I do this for a living kid. I do this for a living. I get paid for this, bro. And if you go back to overcome a low self-esteem long time ago, I've been, I had this class in 2012. I've been, so this is about 10 years I've been on this energy. Come on, Trinace, and then back to Fabi. Come on, man. So, um, dang, that was deep. Cause it's cause this that's because the mother hold on, Trinace. Allow me. Because the people y'all hurt the most are the people y'all love the most, who love you the most, who never harm you, who God sent to you. The people you love the most is your auto suggestion. And the damn relationship your mama and daddy had. Rewind, press play. The divine connection of Phil Malevro Sorrentino. That is not his middle name. Yeah, I totally picked up a Harry Potter middle name for him. That is not his middle name. Okay. That is not his middle name. The people y'all love, the Phil Sorrentino that came in your life to bless you. You call a nerd a square. Yeah, I, I dated the most. I dated the most boring guy one time, but he was. Now I be like, man, I wonder I what happened I, to him. Because your auto suggestion told you, boring was weak and soft, and this and that. And, so I, and want, I cannot stress to go ahead, I Grace. Want, I wanted the nerd or the square. The nerd or the square didn't want me. And here's the deal. And I say, I cannot stress this enough. You may think I got an agenda or something and all that stuff. And I don't care. You think what you want to think. But every successful person on planet Earth acts like me. And if you think for one second that Phil Sorrentino and Antonio Smith don't act just a damn like you out your mind, we act alike. Aren't you study? Then I'm hung up. He just so got more... His edges are more edged than mine. I'm young still. You know what I'm saying? When he was 40, he acted like this with a white Cadillac. You understand? He just his edges are more edged than mine. I'm 41. Here's the deal. Hold on. I need you to get this because I'm trying to get the D tonight. But you're not gonna receive, you're not gonna receive this. <laughs> Fabi's getting ready to go, but 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 Trinace Trinace for the girl first. I'm trying to get to this, but you're not gonna challenge your thoughts. Hey, can you send that? I got you. I got you. I sure will. I sure will. I promise I Screensh will. I screenshotted it so I don't make it. <laughs> yeah, there it is. You're not going to challenge your thoughts. Because here's the deal. Because every single time somebody ever came to you talking about me, did you challenge those thoughts? Every time somebody said it came to you, tells you, oh, you should go to Monday night class. I can't do that. I ain't got time. Did you challenge those thoughts? Did you challenge the thoughts about the human consultant show? Or did you say, I don't have time on Monday nights? Because if you challenge those thoughts, you will make more money than what you've made so far. All right, now. Now, wait a minute. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, I'm, I'm guilty. Not... Oh, I yeah, know I'm I know, guilty. I know. Like, Ooh, I don't because have I put time. everything else aside That's because right. of this time of night, there's children running everywhere. And I feel like I'm pulled in a thousand directions. So what's the evidence for being pulled a thousand directions? You write all that down. What's the evidence for be, against pulled a thousand directions? Is this a habit that you pulled a thousand directions? Or Ooh. is this a fact you pulled a thousand That's different directions? And you're going to have to say that's a habit. It is how a habit. Do, watch this here. It's a hundred percent a habit. That's right. And how does being pulled a thousand different directions not include, I mean, including all the information? I mean, not include all the information. And she's going to uh, just say, well, the truth is, I'm not really pulled in a thousand different directions. I got three kids. I'm pulled in three different directions. Correct. And if and, I was not so yeah. much of a, I'm going to do it all myself and uh -huh. ask for some help, uh -huh. I might only be pulled in one direction or not and, pulled at all on see? some nights. And so. does this include all and none phrases? I'll give these to you, but it's going to say, so does this always happen to me? And she's going to say, yeah, I do always say this always happens to me. So I'm going to say, well, when you're making love to your husband, there's always you're getting pulled in a thousand different directions. You're going to say, no. Nope. So that don't exist then. And right. is this extreme or exaggerated? She's going to say, yes. 
It is extreme. It is exaggerated. <laughs> it's his focus on just one piece. Yes, it's focused on one piece of me being the victim. Yes, you're right. Does this make 100%. me dependable? Yes, it makes me dependable. It does this confuses any possibility with likely. Don't worry about it. I'll explain it. And is this based on my feelings or is this based on my facts? And is oh, this it's 100% based on the feelings that I, I feel like a shit mom okay. if I don't do every single little All thing, right. which I don't need to. So here's the deal. Everybody listen to me because we having a damn good conversation, Fabi. You started this. Listen to me very well. Everything that you know is quite bullshit because you haven't challenged it. The reason you mad at me right now, because you ain't challenged not being mad at me. Now I use me. I don't know who me is, your pastor, your mother, your priest, your husband, your spouse. I just said me because I don't want you to get offended. But I promise you, don't you? Whoever you mad at, if you ain't challenged it, if you, Jerome, can I speak your language for a second? If you ain't challenged your thoughts, you have given in to your flesh daily. And Paul says, we ought to die to our flesh daily. Come on, come on, Jerome. Now, you know damn well I said something right there. No, no, no. I'll mute your mic, Jerome. You know I said something right there. Amen. Because <laughs> we're supposed to die to our flesh daily. daily. And the only mm -hmm. way you can die to your flesh is to challenge the bullshit you thinking. Ooh, you gotta say it like that. I do. I Make do. it plain, man. I do. Y'all need plain. cuss words sometimes. Make it plain. Y'all do. Okay. I do. So, so look. So, so, so look. If I'm, if I'm mad. Okay. So, just if you're example, mad, you're wrong. Because is God mad? Oh, I was. Just hold saying, on. Hold on. Time out. Oh, okay. I know it's an example, but hold on. I'm using you as an example. Right. Tell me all the times God get mad. Go ahead. In the Bible, tell me all the times God get mad. Go ahead. It was like one time because He told Moses He's about to kill everybody. Hmm. Give me another one. Noah, because he said I'm about so, to kill everybody. Have you been mad more than once in your life? <laughs> oh yeah. Have you been about to kill everybody? Not everybody. So what you're saying is you ain't you ain't you ain't God on earth. You the <laughs> devil on earth. Okay. You missed it. Rewind, press play. Let me, let me, I'm getting to Tredace. I'm getting to Fabby. <laughs> I'm but I'm gonna Indiana. push this point real quick. I'm gonna push this point. Is God mad at your cheating husband? No. No. Is you? I know that's no, right. I'm mad for me and God. So here's the deal. No, no, you're supposed to be in His image, huh? I ain't mad. I ain't mad. At, I ain't <laughs> mad. See, you Christians always want to be Christian to God force you to be Christian. You missed it. I'll say it again. You Christians always want to be Christian till it's time for you to be Christian. That's correct. So it's time for you to be Christian. Oh, God, that, that, nah, nah, nah. You got me. No, nah, God, you ain't talking to me. You nah, ain't, you ain't me. talking to me, God. Nah, 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 nah. I got correction, not Christianity. No, no, no. Need you to see. I don't know what great, I don't know what the hell great you're going to say, but I do know I'm right. I know I'm right because I know I'm not trying to be right. I know that God, according to Grace, got mad at one thing. Fuck Grace mad all the time for. No, 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 no. To be PMSing. So then, if I understand correctly. Talk to me, Fabi. Because God is not mad at one. I mean, no disrespect to you. I mean, no disrespect to him blocking you. I mean, no disrespect to your pregnant state. What I do mean is to empower you by saying, one ain't worth your dreams. One can be back here tomorrow and I will empower and enlift and embrace one. But one is not worth you giving your new unborn baby 50% of the pissivity you got for him because your baby will be born with 50% of his person, his or her personality without your say so. And however the fuck you feel about one and what he did to you, you give into your goddamn child. No, I, I mean, I love that man. I love the piss out of that man. I mean, I love that. You not mad as shit as him too. L let me help you. My I'm, goddamn I'm more, middle I'm son. Hurt. I'm my more hurt. middle son. My god doggone wife is so motherfucking mad at me with my middle son. I spent six, he's 10 now. I spent six, 
feel. I spent six years undoing the anger and middle child syndrome. This nigga wasn't even the middle child yet, Fabby. <laughs> he wasn't even the middle child yet. I spent six years making my son happy because of the nine months of arguing me and his mama did. You, you know what I think? And that's so funny that someone else said something earlier and right now that you said undoing what oh, his mom did. Um, no. I, I've... I wish I had a reason, an explanation of something. I don't, there isn't one. He's not here, point blank, whatever, right? Um, I can't speak for him. I can't say he doesn't care about the baby. Um, there you go. You go, okay, stop right there. Y'all clap for her. That was facts, not woo! feelings. <laughs> what she did, what she did, was challenge that thoughts, right? What she did was challenge that thought. Here's the deal, Fabi, before you continue. Maybe he don't give a fuck about the baby. Maybe he do, but that ain't for you. Yeah, because I it, it's easy for Good me to for say, you. it's Good easy for, for me to say Good his actions show Good me he you. don't give a fuck. <clears throat> Good for you. you. Know? <clears throat> but the way I you. see it is... <clears throat> I, I am a Christian. I'm not, I'm not like God. I try my best to, to walk in God's path, but you know, I fall short, but just like everybody else. Um, I, I don't know if I want to believe because I love him so much that right. he knows how fucked up. And this is just. Well, American yeah. Christianity is bullshit. And I hope when I run for president one day, they find this clip and say that. American Christian, <laughs> Christ is gold. See the difference? You see, you see what I did there? You can say Christian, but don't love Christ. You can love the Bible, but hate the Lord. Yeah. Because you're, you're subscribing to this idea of Christianity while rejecting the behavior of Christ. Excuse Christianity me. and Christ are not the same thing in the West. I'm going to say it again. Christianity and Christ are not the same thing in the West. Because just because you're Christian don't mean you act like Christ. Because if you act like Christ, you will be in your war room. Praying for one. No, I do. I do there pray you for go. him. So you're starting to be more like Christ. Get I it? do. I, I pray for him. I pray for his son. Um, his son is nine. Yeah. And Juan has had issues. We have had issues with his son. Juan has had issues with him before he even moved down here with him. But it's gotten worse and worse and worse. Yeah. Now he's yeah. molesting girls. Now he's like when I say molesting, I mean he's literally putting his hand in their panties. I get it. I get it. Yeah, yeah. Um, he's hitting them for no reason. You know, just so I think, or maybe I just want to think that I don't know. Um, because like I said, I stopped having friends. Things were controlling. I thought it was love. I thought it was because he loved me so damn much. Right. That he didn't want anyone else to have what he had, what he saw, what he saw. Right. He we call wants, and that's called high involvement. He just wants me to himself at all times when he wants me to himself. He wanted to make sure with nobody in his cookie jar, and you was acting like the woman he wanted you to be. I was acting exact submissive. I'm not fucking submissive. I'm dominant. I'm an alpha female. Like I'm like, man, what? what? But okay, we whatever. come back and talk about that. Keep going. Yes. So I do pray for him. I pray for his son. And I think that maybe, maybe the reason he got upset because I didn't want to name our child after his ex and him, 
I, I think maybe there's still some love and or connection to trauma there. That's one. Two, I think maybe he just wasn't thinking and I reacted and that he, that he drew the line like, fuck this, I'm not going to do well, what this I shit. I can guarantee you, you fucked up. Whatever you think you did right, you did not. I can guarantee you, you did not do the right thing. I'm not telling you you're wrong. I'm telling you, you got in your habits and your feelings and your auto suggestion. I and did. When he said, you can name the baby whatever you want after he agreed, I said, oh, I will. And then that's when he said, you have the good rest of the week and then block me. Wow. So I want to think that maybe because he knows that he tries to do the best he can with his son, but his son is obese. His son's got issues. His son's got abandonment issues. His son's got triggers, traumas, anger issues, all these things. So it could be possible that now you're not so going to like this. It could so be I, possible that he wanted to start over with a fresh new son that wasn't shady and you didn't let you didn't let him name that son that wouldn't act like that i'm not telling you you're right i'm not telling you he's right what i'm trying to get y'all to see is if you don't challenge those thoughts you never think about what the other person is fucking going through in their heads what i was thinking was more so i think that even though he knows that he's trying the best he can, obviously his son isn't the best he can be. Um, he knows his son's got these issues, but isn't getting help for him, isn't getting help for himself. He denies the issues he has, and I didn't see it at some point, but he would project his issues. I'm sure. I'm sure lot. all that's correct. Um, so I think he just didn't want to, I guess, damage I'm the sure. baby like did, he has damaged his did son. Did he block you after you wouldn't take his name for the, his son? He blocked me. He, we, we, um, he doesn't know I'm having a boy. I found out a couple days ago I'm having what, a boy. Fair he, enough. Did he give you a son name? No. What name did he give you? I gave him names. I said, no, 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 no. I'm not. I'm asking. Here's the deal. I'm not proving you wrong. This is where all you people. Okay. I got five sections for y'all. This is where y'all stop listening. This is where you alpha women stop listening. This is where you alpha women think you can't be strong and listen at the same time. And this is where you think an alpha male like me can't submit to you at the same time. And then finally, this is where you just flat out not actively listening. So let's just back up. Yes, he did give me a male name. Point, he at one point, he did give me a name. He told me he wanted the boy to be named Juan. Okay. So yes, he did at one point, but not when he blocked me. No, that's not okay. When he blocked you, you're gonna say there was a bunch of shit that happened. When he told you the statement, fine, you could do what you want. That's what I want right there. I'm not telling you wrong. I, you would not walk away from this conversation feeling wrong. See, this is where y'all get messed up at. Oh no, I don't feel like I'm wrong. True, and I'm grateful for that. Thank you so much because your growth is, is, is astounding. But this is where y'all, you motherfuckers want to be so right that you're never going to get the riches. So yeah. please listen, okay? What I want you to do is when he told you his snappy comment, whatever that was, which was clearly his version of this is the straw that broke the camel's back. I want to know what happened right before that. Because whatever happened right before that was the hill he was willing to die on. And you don't get to judge that. What you okay. get to do, everybody listen. This man chose the hill he was going to die on. It was a deal breaker for him. I'm not telling you he right. I'm now nah, I am telling you, Fabi, you wasn't listening. Because you wasn't willing to down that hill because you was willing to, listen to me, you was willing to work it out. He wasn't. So that means yeah. you went to war 
on the fucking hill you wasn't willing to die on, but he was. Does everybody hear what I'm saying? Y'all need to respect. Okay, some people don't hear what I'm saying. I see no's. Listen to what I'm saying. We're not talking about right. We're not talking about wrong. We're not talking about she's right. We're not talking about he's wrong. We're talking about Jerome. If I'm willing to die on this fucking hill, you're never going to win. Yeah. Yeah, you're not listening to me. I'm telling you, if your motherfucking ass approach a hill, I'm willing to die on, and this is just some point you need to prove, your ass is going to lose. I'm going to make sure you lose because I'm willing to die on this hill. I'm not telling you I'm right. I'm telling you, you fucked around and hit this man's auto suggestion, but it was his auto suggestion that he already said i'll leave anything i'll die before i won't let this happen and if you listen to me if you finally be fair by you i'm saying y'all if y'all finally be fair and listen to me this man walked away because he said fuck it then i'd rather be dead before i deal with this you ain't i'd rather you talk about me before i deal with this i'd rather you die I'd rather you talk bad about me. Whatever it is, this is what this man said. Because it's a hill he is willing to die on. Am I making this hill right, Amanda? No, he wrong as hell. But ain't nobody hills ever going to be wrong. Your job is to respect everybody's hills they willing to die on. And if you can't do that, you are not Christian or anything you say you are. See, I don't like hearing that. I'm not talking to Fabi. I'm talking to everybody. Listen to me. So, okay, hold on. Let me just say this one thing. Listen to me. Whatever the fuck made him walk away wasn't Fabi. It was a hill he was willing to die on. I'm not telling you this man is right. I'm telling you, you fucked around and bumped up against an unagreeable agreement. And you won't even respect that. That's what I'm telling you. Because for him, he's still gone. Mm -hmm. So the harvest is there. So what was it? Go say what you want to say and then tell me what it was. And remember, when you tell me what it was, we're not telling you right. We're telling you this is the shit you shouldn't have bumped against. Every one of us has that. Everybody is 23 squares on this call. Every last one of us, Tracy and all her empathy, got that. <laughs> Don't you fuck with this. I wish you would. I'll walk away from this right now. Every last one of us got that. And it's not up for you to judge, not now or ever. Okay. So okay, go ahead. What, what happened to that led to his comment was... We were in a phone call. He was at work. He was telling me how much he missed me, loved me, all and hug wants to hug me, sleep in a warm bed, this, that, giving me tons of kisses. We were all lovey dubby. Okay, so and that then- tells me he was setting up naming his child. That's what that tells me, but keep going. So then um I tell him, baby, if it's a boy. I said, if it's a boy, I have a, a n- name in mind. And trust me, I know you're gonna love it. Promise me, promise me you'll let me name the baby because i know you're gonna stop right there trust me i know you're gonna love it is that evidence i want you to give me all the evidence for that all the evidence against that to name his son juan and the name i want was that habit that you knew what he was gonna love or fact that yes because he had also told me okay well yeah it's gonna be junior no that's not fact (laughs) no no, because no, he told me so it's going to be junior. If it's fact, he wouldn't be walked away. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. So I'll let me. Okay. So he told me, okay, well, let's name this Juan wasn't even that <coughs> conversation that day. Fair enough. Okay. I that conversation of Juan was okay. two weeks before. So I just want you to go to where two minutes later he says, fuck it, I'm out of here. That's the only okay. conversation I want. Okay. Now, hold on. Pause so, right there. Hold on. Pause right there. 
And I want every last one of you squares to give me this same energy. Somebody went, fuck it, I ain't doing this no more. Whoever you, can we talk about your trauma? We talk about your letter. I want you to go five minutes, two minutes before somebody went, fuck it. Before the shit happened. I don't care about what led up to it. Because what led up to it is okay, your that's right. right. Okay. Remember your letter was five minutes before. Go ahead. So Got you. I tell him, these are the girl names that I like. I want our baby. If we have a girl, I want her to have a strong nature name. I sent him the name Everest. Got you. Aspen. Yep. Uh, At- Atlantis. Got it. Tula. Got it. I sent those four names. Right. And then he said, he sends back, I like Tula J. Montesinos. But he didn't have a choice, though. You gave him the choice to choose from. No, I've been no, asking no, him no, for no, choices. No, 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 no. Here's the deal. The shirt you're wearing right now, you did not choose. Some white man, no offense, white people, said, oh, this is our fall colors. And said, store, you're going to have these colors. And they made you pick from a certain colors that they chose from. I'm going to need you to get, I get it. you did one the same way it. about his seed. As far as the female it. goes, we haven't heard about so the I, son So I picked these names there you that go. I liked there you so go. that he could pick from those names. He picked out of that name, out of those names, he picked Tula which obviously I like because I put in there. You like, that don't mean he likes. Pause real quick. Everybody listen to me. Everybody listen to me. I'm not telling you, listen, here's it. Fabi is fantastic. This is why me and Fabi could do this. And her and Ken are volunteers. They volunteer on time. I'm not telling, Fabi knows I'm not, she's not going to be mad at me. She ain't going to post no post about me. She ain't going to be mad. But I need y'all to get. I need to post, post tag <laughs> I know. You. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> post and tag me and be like, fuck him. I, I get it. But I need y'all to receive it. I know with a screenshot. I need y'all to get this here. I need y'all to get that up until I challenged her thoughts. She thought she gave this man a choice. Now stop for a moment because she ain't did nothing wrong. And he, the, the truth is, the real wrong here, Fabby, is him not saying, baby, I ain't got no choice. You got me fucked up. He should have told you you were breaching his you got me fucked up point. That's what he should have told you. He did not, or maybe he did. Either way, you breached that point. So y'all not listening to me because y'all so damn invested in being right. You can't hear that you're missing your breakthrough and your blessings because all you want to do is tell a motherfucker what to choose from. And you call that an open relationship with communication so it doesn't count that i've been asking i'm four months it doesn't count that i've been asking him like give me baby names give me baby names so so i told him these are the ones i like no it wasn't it wasn't that this is permanent it was just these are names i like and then he's here so why should say i've been telling him for four months okay give me all the evidence for and then give me all the evidence against now did you give him four months out of habit or did you give him fact? That's up to you. Does this mm-hmm. include all the information? Was this all the love? Was this extremely exaggerated? Well, he, I guarantee you, if I get him to fill out D, and I haven't even explained it, if I get you to fill out D, y'all gonna have two diametrically two. opposed. Yeah. Here's the deal. I'm not telling you Fabi wrong. I'm telling you, listen to me. I'm telling you, Queen Chi ain't fucking listening. You ain't got to like that. But how should two walk together? Come on, Jerome, finish it for me. Unless they agree. (laughs) I'm not making this up. This was here before I got here, Otis. This was here before I got here, man. I'm not telling you, thank God for Fabi and Ken. Listen, I'm trying to tell you something. I'm trying to tell you something very clear. Fabby was right according to her rightness. But the whole time she had this man fucked up. And you can't say, no, he didn't. The motherfucker gone. So you can't say he you didn't have him fucked up the whole time. Y'all love to look at Harvest 
He'd be like, nah, uh. <laughs> if this man is gone, you had him fucked up before you had him fucked up because nobody leaves physically until they mind left mentally. So the whole time through when you were saying, this is what we're going to do, this is what we're going to do. I'm not telling you don't do that again. I'm telling you, this is what I want. And then you got to find in your angle of relationship to say, now, baby, forget everything I said. Tell me what you want. Now, am I telling you she's wrong? No, because this, let me, let me, in fact, let me make myself very clear. He wrong. Both of you motherfuckers wrong, you ask me. Because I'm just coming from facts. But as long as you had an opinion, as long as you had names, as long as you had a passion and you was punished for that passion, he gonna be wrong every time. You hear me? You, you, y'all didn't hear me. Let me say it again. I'm not telling you Fabby wrong. I'm telling Fabby she wrong. But as long as Fabby had joy and is punished for this joy, he wronged in the motherfucker. His karma will find him. I can admit, I, and I accept what you're saying about putting these names, giving him right. no choice but to pick out of those names. Right. However, he didn't have to. Okay, that's habit. Um, that's habit. Whatever you're about to say is habit. It's not fact. It's habit. I haven't explained okay, so, D yet. So hear, so hear me habit. out on this one. Fair. It's still going to be habit, though, but I will hear you out. Yes. Okay. His name is Juan with the J. Yep. His ex, her name is Brianna Jade J. Oh, that's why okay. you didn't want. Okay. So I need you to. Okay, go ahead. I've already pieced this man. So, go ahead. so this is where my brain went. Uh-huh. They named they named their son yep. Zion J. Yep. 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 So he wanted to name our baby. He picked a name that I that I gave him, Tula. That was one of the options that I gave since he never gave me any options. One but he said J. Tula J Montesino. Yep. What the fuck? Why would you okay. want to bring so, what you got some other bitch that's into That's not how he saw it. That's not how he saw it. That's not how he saw it. He may have had the only to so you motherfuckers. Y'all gonna be so mad at me. I'm about to be the devil tonight. I know where you're going. Because here's the deal. He picked you like he picked her. You motherfuckers act just like. So the only control he had was the letter J in the first one. Because his name is Juan. And the only control he had in this one was the letter J because he picked the same damn relationship twice. No, he did for two different individuals. (laughs) I feel you. I'm I'm not worthy enough to respond to what you just said. You get the hat at. But what I am telling you for sure it's 100 percent. when you didn't let him pick that j it was a deal breaker for him and he promised he would never go to that shit again and you fucked around and bumped up against it i'm sorry i'm i was late i need the replay because i love you that's all i'm saying i love you wait a minute wait a minute <laughs> that man. That, but, he, but that is so true i'm just sitting back listening and i'm like wow it wow and you're right wow that it's man wow. said where he was the only thing he had only that thing was the he had one. only that thing man. he had only and, thing he had was Jay. and for <laughs> him ain't no child is worth putting him back with that woman he just left I'm not telling you he right. Kim, I'm telling you, this is his deal breaker. And y'all so motherfucking right. You can't hear when your man or your woman is crying to you. Yeah, I enjoy being right, man. I enjoy being right. Fair enough. And I'm not mad at you. And, And again, before I get to Tracy, and and Trinidad, I'm not telling you Fabi is wrong and Fabi is eating the fuck out of this conversation. Y'all clap for her right yes, now. She is. All right, she's eating all of this. <laughs> yes. And and I made a deal with Fabi and Juan. Fabi, Juan gone. 
I'm I'm positive one is coming back. Fabby here ain't Mr. Class. And me and Fabby got a mutual agreement of respect. I am not disrespecting Fabby. Fabby, you think I'm disrespecting you? No. I absolutely cut for Fabby. This 100%, no doubt about it. I do. I just absolutely admire her. Fabby just trying to find answers. But I don't want y'all hiding behind Fabby before I get to Tracy because I know y'all abuse. And a lot of you, let me tell you something. A lot of y'all are alpha women because you hate men. See, there I go getting in trouble again. I guess I get on my Kanye and say what no, you motherfuckers don't want me to say. I'm right there with you, Antonio. I'm well, right I'm there not there talking, way. fair enough. I'm not generalizing and I'm not, I'm not dumb like Kanye and I don't have enough strategicness about me. <laughs> what I'm saying very clearly is a lot of y'all are not alpha women by nature. You're alpha women by nurture. Yep. And that you got to respect. You're not alpha women because you was born that way. Stomping, walking in the mud of your white dress. That ain't what you was doing. Life made you that way through nurture. Because these sorry ass, well, I, I, I'll say that in front of room for the black people. These sorry men, you, you, you know what I was going to say, Tracy, you know, S A N, you understand. You, you understand. I'm saying 100%. Fabby right. Fabby also wrong. She not wrong in the sense of God mad at her. She wrong in not mastering the ways of life and not bumping up against a deal breaker in her relationship. Now she paying the consequences. So Is karma you know. coming for one? You motherfucking right karma's coming for one. You hear me? Fabby is supposed to not want that karma to come for one. You do that, you'll be blessed. All right. I heard that pain in your voice, Talisha. Talisha. Uh, yeah, baby. Tracy, in a Trinace, go ahead. Okay. So it was just like you were him. And I everything that you said, it was like, I had, I had you fucked it, up. Like you were yep. yelling in my face when you said it. <laughs> yep. No, but it was it was Jerome's laughing, but <laughs> it's it's it was just like Talisha, like he's telling you exactly what it is. He's the the time with the women and me confronting it. It was I was bumping against his his uh what you call it? What did you say? What was deal it? breaker. His deal, deal breaker. breaker. Deal breakers, and it was just like I was going to ask you care. when someone is nonchalant. You should never a make situation. a nonchalant. You should never make a nonchalant person cry, male or female. If you make a nonchalant person cry, that shit is over. It is over. Ask Tawala. If you make a nonchalant, I don't care, baby. You can have what you want. It's all good. I'm at peace. You fool around and make that person cry. It is over. You will never get, even if they stay with you, you would never get that back. That shit is over. Can I get a nonchalant person? An easy person? Whatever you say, daddy person, to agree with me, please. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm not about mm -hmm. to go back. Mm -hmm. You're right. They'll never get them back. Never. They will remember that forever. Because it takes six, eight, nine years to make a nonchalant Percy happy. I mean, pissed off. And you have to chip at their actual essence. Well, I must have chipped at his actual Facts. essence. Facts. When it came to, when it came to his, his baby mama and his daughter. And when I said about the whole, okay, she 18, there's no need for you to be going back over there anymore. That was a deal breaker for him. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. It was an absolute deal breaker. 
Absolute beer. And I just Tracy just sent me a good question. I'm gonna let her ask it out loud. It was an absolute deal breaker. Here's the deal. I'm not telling you, I can't, if I can't say this, Fabby is right. First off, Fabby pregnant, so she right. But that's also y'all bullshit though, ladies. See, I don't see. This is why I'm on my Kanye West again. My ignorant stuff. Fabby pregnant, so she automatically right. That's also bullshit. Happy wife, happy home. That's also bullshit. The one of the worst things you can ever have in a relationship is happy wife, happy home. Ooh, these my these my kids. This is we my didn't, child. Man, we didn't start that statement. We didn't no, start no, that. No, no, no we showed. Say it right, Antonio. Happy I, wife, happy life. Say it right. No, that oh, is no. not Who the started way. that? Because I feel like it's crap. And a woman my started mood, that. Or oh, a man trying to get women tricky. My mood shouldn't change the way you behave or, or change the mood of the house. I don't, that's too much control. If, if a woman is controlling the mood of the house, she is wrong, period, point blank. If a man is controlling the mood of the house, he is wrong, period, point blank. That is awful. Let me push that further. Let me see. I'm not going to like me, but this is where this is where they cancel me. You understand what I'm saying? Trinidad, this is where they cancel me. Listen to me. All that. Oh, well, you don't know what he did to me. Wrong. Ain't nobody did nothing to you, Otis. Ain't nobody coming to see you, Otis. I couldn't resist myself. I'm sorry. <laughs> Ain't nobody did nothing to you, Otis. You did that to you. There are no victims in this life. Neil Donna Walsh keeps screaming from the mountaintops about that. You did that to you. If you so cocky that you rub up against Kim deal breaker and think you're going to get away with it and don't get away with it and then get mad at her for not getting away with it, you wrong. Kim has not ascended past this deal breaker. So the nerve of you to judge Kim for not being ascended when she recycled this whole incarnation to get past the shit you do it to her. Kim has reincarnated a whole 83 years to get past what you just did to her in 83 minutes. And you expect her to be done with it now? No, you are her karmic connection. And she deserves to walk away from you. See, I don't want to receive that. But I'm not allowed to mistreat Frida. I'm not allowed to mistreat Queen Chi. Queen Chi can say whatever she want. Adonia can say whatever she want. Adrian can say whatever she want. Tracy can say whatever she want. And here's the deal. Y'all, Adrian go off on me for four hours on the phone. And I say nothing. And I'm the man she mistreat. And then go, now this never happened with me, Adrian. Not ever. That's why I'm using her as an example, right? She was like, what the fuck, bro? We, we, we goons. No, this ain't never happened between me, Adrian. Okay, this, this ain't never happened between me. That's why I'm using her as an example. Adrian, go outside of me. The man saying, you right, baby. And I'm weak. I'm soft. I'm passive. Or Fabby, faithful to me, having my babies but I want some chick sleeping with everybody. Half nude on Instagram. For you, page. TikTok real. Oh, y'all don't want to hear me today. Here she is, conservative. You need to dress more. Soon as she dress more, I'm a controller. As soon as I... So Fabby, put your shirt down. Soon as she pull her shirt down, be, what's your password? Come, don't act like that's so happy, Fabby. Don't do it. Don't do it, Fabby. You know they... So, Fabby, cut that shirt up. Let me see it. Let me see it. Ooh, that look good. So did she do it? Why, why they in your inbox like that? What she doing? So she can't do it. She conservative. As soon as I make a non-conservative, I'm on it. I have a question about that. <laughs> so I being guided, manipulated, controlled. I don't that. know which. 
Like, I, I really don't even know of, which. No, it's all of it. It's all of it. It's all under the narcissistic he umbrella. I was, he told me I was a narcissist, and I was like, "You are a narcissist. Oh. There's no doubt about it. You are a narcissist. You, you are no. You are most certainly a narcissist. Every, okay. I'm gonna call out all the narcissists on the phone call. Y'all not gonna like me. I can call myself sure? out. I'll Fair. call myself out. I know I am. Diana, Fabi, with you. Diana, Grace, Amanda, Trinace, Kim. Kim actually got hers on the voluntary control as of recently. Renee, Damali, Frida, Jamal, Tracy, Adrian. Adrian knows she a narcissist. She get up. She get. Adrian would get on this microphone like you know. You got that right. I'm a narcissist. Shit, I'm working on it. Don't got it. So that's that's Adrian for sure. Talisha is a super narcissist. These Talisha might be the biggest narcissist here. John Calloway was turned into a narcissist. Ken been a narcissist since 1963. And Queen Chi is a narcissist. Can you explain then what a narcissist is? Because I guess I don't know. Can somebody Google? Not since 1963. I'll tell you what a narcissist is. No, I don't want, no, you pull it up on the screen. (laughs) This is what I want you to do. I want you to Google dark triad. That's what you do. Google Why dark triad. Why she looking that up? You saved yourself. Because if you'd have called me out, I'd have stopped this car. <laughs> not a curse. Because I am not a narcissist. You're not a narcissist so, whatsoever. I absolutely not, not in, No, you're not a narcissist. Now, here's the deal, though. In fairness to everybody here, you can't succeed in life without having narcissistic traits. You can't. Come on, Phil, you, you, you know this. How are you going to believe God's going to work it out for you without having narcissistic traits? Do you understand the idea of saying, God got me? Yeah, you're saying, fuck everybody else. No, see, y'all don't want, see, you don't want to critically think about your faith. When you say, when you had a bad day, you go, ooh, my grandma just died. That's grace. But God got me. You're saying, fuck everybody else, grandma. God got me though. You cannot succeed in this life without narcissistic traits because even your God is a narcissist. First off, I'd like to thank God for winning this championship. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you need narcissism. Don't get it twisted. I didn't tell you narcissism is bad. What I'm telling you is how you going to have confidence to get past your worst day without narcissistic traits? Let me help you out, ladies. How are you going to say, I deserve to be treated this way? That is absolutely, absolutely narcissistic. To know your self-worth is to be narcissistic. I'm just talking about the people who suffer from this. Uh, what do I mean by suffer, Jerome? Is to have a negative harvest. That's to not to have your narcissistic traits under voluntary control. That's a, okay, Adrian got it. I dropped a bombshell just now. Say that again. You I'm need kidding. to have your narcissistic traits under voluntary control. That's the difference. You cannot I, believe God is good. Without, when you say, Fabby, God is good. No, you're not saying God is good to Jerome. You say God is good to me. That's what you, God no, is good to Fabby. God is good, but I do say, God's got this. So right now, when you said God's got this, that means fuck everyone else. I'm like, God's Ooh. got this for me. It's what you're saying. That's extremely narcissistic. But it's hmm. good. How do you become oh, not no. narcissistic? No, you I don't not, like nobody it. should not be narcissistic. That's my argument here. Don't not be nar- narcissistic. Because how can you good. have faith yeah. in bad times? In order for any of y'all to have faith in bad times, you got to be a little bit of a narcissist to do that. Let, 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 let's use Grace. Grace. Damn, my What's grandma up? just died. Grace, what you gonna eat? I don't know. I don't know. But I've been eating. She's she been gone for she been gone but since I've been October night. But I've been why, you, why you been eating, Grace? Because <laughs> God, God is good. Because God is good. <laughs> God been sending people to whom, Grace? To me. 
that's narcissistic. Why? Hold on, hold on, Grace. You uh -huh. can you can do you can do a week without food. What about these kids in Africa? What about the forty thousand children just died today of starvation? I feel terrible real. about that. See, I feel see, terrible about that. See, see, Tawada, they don't like that. Grace is saying, knowing that forty thousand children died day from starvation. Grace is saying, thank you, God, for feeding me, though. Yep. So my point is, narcissism is good if you got it under voluntary control. To be so an how evil. Get there? How do you do that? Well, that the way it's a good question. So she asked, How do you have your narcissism on the voluntary control? Is to allow Phil to be a narcissist, too. That's called the law of allowing. You're not allowed to be the only narcissist in your reality. Thank you. That's the okay. Maybe, maybe, maybe a little bit now. Maybe, maybe. Uh, okay. All right. There you go. There you go, Adele. You go ahead. Maybe. Okay, keep it under is control. There a, is there a range of narcissism? There is a range of narcissism. I had her pull up dark triad. You go too far, well, then you 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 like Antonio, but don't worry about it. We get to that later, though. We get to that later. Go ahead, go ahead. No, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, Dion. Go ahead, Kim. Oh, you, you, got, you got yourself muted, Kim. I was just gonna be silly. I was gonna say the way oh. you keep it under control, you thank God for that water burger combo. First, you got yours first, and you would take it. You got sales. <laughs> you would My patty melt is waiting for me. Listen, we all have gotten this. Is like we all narcissists. Oh, Lord, they gave me two fries in this meal. You did that just for me with Come the on, spicy ketchup. Come on, Hallelujah. Every, every time we pray, we're narcissistically asking God to take care of just us. Lord, I know you got a whole lot of prayers out there. Fuck them, though. See, you don't have the fortitude to say that because they make you feel bad, Tracy. But that's what you're really saying. And you do it in Jesus' name. You make sure you sign your prayer in Jesus' name. Just for me is what you're saying. See, y'all don't want to keep I it. I always here. thought Jesus' name said that because I knew I really wasn't right. They figured if you put it in Jesus' name and make it right. The myth fact that you even praying for yourself <laughs> proved that you're a narcissist. <laughs> but I thought that's what they, I thought when they say in Jesus' name, that was because they wasn't Please, really right. That's true. That's true. Please that's tell me I, the Bible where it say, pray for like, yourself. I damn you what gotta, you got to You got to get yourself right. right or you can get anybody else. Right. <laughs> I dare y'all find me in the Bible where it say, Phil, hey, Lord, fix me first. Uh, uh, pray for Phil, Phil, pray for yourself, Phil. No. I it's spent saying, 15 minutes of prayer on, on me and 30 minutes on Antonio. That's still narcissistic. You started with you first. <laughs> <laughs> You're still the Pharisee and I'm the tax collector, right? All right, well, tomorrow I'm going to put you first. <laughs> There you go. <clears throat> now here's the deal. I'm arguing. Trinae supposed Trinae supposed to think she the finest mofo on the planet. She's supposed to think somebody's supposed to take care of her and rub her feet. That narcissism gives her her self worth. But you're supposed to have it under voluntary control to where you humble yourself. Fill it. Finish it for me, Jerome. Where you humble yourself and the Lord. <laughs> Will raise you up. <laughs> okay, thank you. I, I, so, you know, you're such a deacon. You're, you, you're supposed to have it under voluntary control. Y'all get it? I am humble because I am so fucking not humble. Man, Antonio, you teaching that? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come when, on. I, I, when, when that alarm go off, I start praying for my kids and everybody else, the rest of the world, they come out. Fuck, them, fuck the, the other kids. kids <laughs> the other kids. Stupid my, little kids. My children, then my grandchildren, and then the other part of my family, and then the rest of you peasants can have the rest of the prayer. Right. Because I might go to sleep if I don't sit, if I don't get up and pray. <laughs> I'm that's, just saying. That's right. <laughs> hey, oh, Lord, thank you for my kids and my kids only. 
the rest of these kids, they bad as hell. But Lord, I thank you. And here's the deal. I'm not telling y'all y'all wrong. Is Phil wrong for narcissistically praying for his wife to wake up in the morning? No. Is Phil also saying, fuck these other wives? Yes. He's not saying that explicitly. But he's saying, I'm not really thinking about them more. So as far as it comes to my reality and my reality only, just Susan Sorrentino. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And then, by the way, if you could have Deanna, if you could have Grace, and if you could have, and that's not wrong. I'm giving you permission, Otis, to accept that Fabby's a narcissist, Tracy's a narcissist, and Tracy ran her daughter to be raised as a narcissist. Baby, don't you go out there and let these men, yeah. Because if your daughter wasn't a narcissist, she would be weak, wouldn't she? Get your it? brother Jesus is one too. Yes, that's my point. That's my it, point. We, we are made in our daddy's image. All right, then. Jesus could not defeat the devil with low self esteem. Do y'all hear me? As soon as the devil would have said, Man, if you jump off there, ain't no rock gonna hurt your feet. Oh, well, you know what? You're right, though, because I've been out here hurting my feet this whole 40 days. <laughs> that's, that's Luke chapter four, y'all. <laughs> I'm not telling you, listen, I'm not telling you I'm right. I'm telling you that you are a narcissist, all of us. And if we want to survive, we need a little narcissism full of dark triad, y'all. <clears throat> and, and listen, y'all can't educate me about this because this, I am a professional act. Characterized by grandioso grandiosity, pride, egotism, and lack of empathy. You can stop right there. Machiavellianism is next, but we'll get there in a second. Because y'all are narcissists and Machiavellianists, but we'll just get there right there. Okay, pull up Matthew 7 and 7. He put that up as an example. What that means is, Lord, thank you for my kids. The moment you say my or possess anything, you're a narcissist because you are a steward of everything and you don't own anything. But even I say, I need to make sure my kids have a good life. I'm also saying, oh, just fuck these other kids. We don't like saying that out loud, Tracy, but that is what I'm saying. I'm saying, I hope, Kim, I sure hope your, I sure hope your son make it to the NFL. But if not, mine will. Even though they don't even want to play football. You feel what I'm saying? I need y'all to get that. Kim is saying, I sure hope my son make it to the NFL. It is one million kids her son's age trying to make it to the NFL. Lord, fuck them kids. It's only 450 of these going to make this draft. Make sure my son one of them. That's what you said. I'm not telling you it's wrong, and I'm not telling you feel right about it. I am telling you every time Jerome said, "Lord, help my church make this money." Jerome said, "Forget these other churches, stupid ass churches." <laughs> I'm trying to use language that makes you see this is what I actually said. Are we right? No. Are we wrong? No. But Jerome is saying, forget these churches. I know, Lord, you in these churches, but you're not in these churches like you in my church. Nah, Brother Jerome don't say that. <laughs> she, yeah, he do. He, he be pray. saying, Sister, Sister Shirley need to sit her ass down. She knows she can't say. <laughs> <laughs> That's about right. I think every church got somebody. Hey, hey Kim, especially when you have them folks that be talking about them sisters with them hats in the church. Exactly. <laughs> Exactly. And yes. I'm the guy that say, no, don't even go to the mic because you know you can't sing. Can't sing. Don't even touch the mic. Look. Your testimony is squeaky. I have no idea what Queen Chi is doing for whatever relative she's taking care of. I just know she is petitioning to God, save my relative. God's like, you know, I got to take a few people. Fuck that. Not this one. Come on now. Come on. You, uh, I don't know who you got to take, but skip over this one. Give some suggestions. 
I got something if you ask me. Don't take that one. I like Don't take that. that one. But then I got a whole list of that. uncles you can have. Yeah. You know, you know, me and brother Jerome is the type of guy we say, now look, man, you know, I don't curse. I'm gonna, say, go call Adrian. Right. I'm gonna let Adrian talk to you for about 30 yeah. minutes. That's it. Look, Adrian look. and Antonio, let me get them on three way. That's it. Look, Grace, you tell me it's like grandmother. No, I appreciate all these grandmothers, but this grandmother, Passover. Passover blood. You know what I'm saying? Like we pass over blood. Mini, mini, no. Any, uh, mini, not mini, no. Not this one. Get one of them grandmothers in them other zip codes, not this one. Because I'm here pleading the blood over this one. And I need the blood to work over this one. You get what I'm saying? Listen, that didn't listen. Okay, that was the prayer. <laughs> grandma got, love, Grace, grandma got 102 years. She still cried. It's folk out there. Grandmother died at 53. I'm talking about Grace, you tripping. You know what I'm saying? And I get it. Everybody's right. But if you bump up against somebody deal breaker and think you're right, you are a narcissist that don't have it under voluntary control. Because I don't know what Kim is telling her boo thing. But the mere fact that he's still her boo thing, he ain't bumped up against too many deal breakers. Is that not? Is, that, is, it, is it here? Is it here, Kim? Is it? <laughs> If he's still there, he ain't hit no deal breakers. The moment he hit a deal breaker, he ain't there no more. And that ain't her fault. Neither is it her right. So y'all not paying attention. Is there ever a time to check the deal breaker though? It is. Are we, could we be maybe wrong in some we're of the deal? We're not supposed to have no deal breakers. None. Oh, we're not supposed to have any. And if you do have a deal breaker, it needs to be for injustice. Children die from starvation. Okay. Uh, okay. That's the, this is this is your ranch here. This is law of one. I'm like, this is this is real, this is big, this is a real deal. If you're gonna have a deal breaker, it is in the collective consciousness that's so high that it it, it raises the litter of the pick, the harvest of this world. That's the deal breaker. Go ahead, Tracy. So in a relationship, you shouldn't have deal breakers? No, because what you call what that's called is how okay, how deep do you want me to answer this question? I really want to understand because you said we shouldn't have any. First <laughs> off, you shouldn't even be in a relationship. Your idea of a relationship is called it comes from racial memory. Somebody Google racial oh, somebody with access Google racial, all y'all Google racial memory, but some one of y'all with access put racial memory and put it on the screen. Your idea of what you call a relationship is from racial memory. That means that it has been passed down from generation to generation. Okay, go ahead. We'll read that out loud. Now, okay, stop your screen real quick. Tracy, I asked you how deep you want me to go, and you said all of it. So you did this to yourself. Are we clear? All right, go ahead. Go ahead, the other. Sorry, Tracy. <clears throat> yeah. You a messed up yourself. Supposedly inherited subconscious memory of events in human history or prehistory. All right, stop right there. It's called racial memory. So your idea of relationship is this racial memory says this is mine and nobody can touch. There's nothing about the Bible that says that. As a matter of fact, forget the Bible for a second. Let's just go with present day humanity more so there is the, the word is 33 percent muslims 32 percent christian and then you have people like you know your whole african ancestry and stuff like that so there's about 60 percent of the 60 to 66 percent of the world that has multiple wives you christians have no concept of this because you only walk around Christianity. Therefore, I need you to know, you don't have to agree with me. The mere fact that I got you fucked up right now kind of proves my point. That the, the, the simple fact that, the simple fact that most of the world has never been in a relationship as you said it, and most of your Bible does not have a relationship as you said it. No, that's, that's true. Most of 80% of your Bible, it's only in 1 Corinthians. It's only Paul who tells you one wife. 
80% of your Bible has no monogamy. I'm not arguing for multiple and I'm not arguing for non-monogamy. What I'm doing is, I'm going to do it again, Phil, here, right here, it is right here. What I'm doing is, what are the facts against? What are the facts for? And your only fact for monogamy is 1 Corinthians. Anything outside of that? There is, there is, there are millions of facts against. I say, I say, okay, Tracy, you have a dog. Is your dog monogamous? And you're going to say no. Is the are bees monogamous? You're going to say no. Plants, no. So it doesn't matter. I'm not telling you that I'm, and see, somebody's going to say it. Somebody's going to twist my words, Trinesta. I'm not arguing for or against because everything is right. But I asked her, how deep does she want me to go? And she asked, she did this herself. Do you understand, Amanda? <clears throat> so when she said, when I said all that grace, said, well, what if you're in a relationship? What if you are in a racial memory distortion that is stopping you from ascending is what you actually asked. Pick it, Bible, Quran, Urantia, law of one. I don't care which one you pick. I'm giving you a very accurate ascending answer. Now, whether you like it or not is irrelevant. But if you got problems against what I'm saying, you're your problem. So Antonio, are you saying we shouldn't be in a relationship with one person? I'm not saying that. As long as the person you want to be with is okay with that, then you're living your life. period. But I'm telling you, racial memory is you genetically being passed down. Has anybody seen a three-year-old black kid duck from police? I got my hand up first. Anybody else? Okay. Who the fuck talked this kid this? That's racial memory. You're not even processing, you're not even critically thinking about what you're going through. Tracy, the, the concise answer to your question is, you ain't got no question. The concise answer to the question in your reality is, as long as you like relationships, love that, be that, own that, go with the light, embrace it, and you will find the person who loves that with you? All right, let me let me do this again. I'm gonna, I'm gonna help Tracy out very much. Everybody gonna say, "Well, you don't like that." All right, Tracy, I want you to write down every single thing I say. Let me know when you're ready. I'll mute your mic. Let me know when you're ready, Tracy. I can't I can't hear you. Did you unmute your mic? So Tracy says, hey, Antonio, so what should I do with my life? What should I do with my relationship? How should I protect myself against these evil forces of my relationship? How should I do whatever, Adrian? It got the same answer for every last one of you. You ready, Tracy? Yes. Write this down word for word. Antonio, how can I protect myself against? Against. Yeah, I got it. Don't matter what it is. Fabio says, Antonio, how can I protect myself against? Write this down word for word. It's the greatest thing I ever said. Give thanksgiving <laughs> for each moment, period. See self and other selves as the creator, period. Open your heart. Period. Always know the light and praise it. That's the answer to your question. I'll repeat. Give thanksgiving for each moment. See self and other self as the creator. Open your heart. 
always know the light and praise it. But you don't understand, Antonio. I'm Fabby and one left me. Give thanksgiving for each moment, Fabby. See one as the creator and yourself. Open your heart to whatever you're supposed to be learning and whatever's wrong with him. And always know the light and praise it. Now nah, you don't understand, tell you they got me fucked up for what they did to me. Who is it? Well, you don't understand. My name is Prophet Jerry, and my ex-wife left me. Good. Good. Give Thanksgiving for your wife leaving you, Prophet Jerry. But I've been I've been mad. Each moment you've been mad, give Thanksgiving. And see your ex-wife as the creator and yourself. And open your heart and know the light and praise it. You don't understand, Antonio. Antonio got me fucked up. Okay. Give Thanksgiving each time Antonio got you fucked up. See Antonio as the creator and see yourself as the creator. Open your heart. Always know the light and praise it. You don't get it, though, because these men out here be cheating on me. Get, you know what, Trinace? Give Thanksgiving for each moment. Each man, each moment, each abuse. See these men as the creator. Because when you see them as the creator, you can't hate them. And neither can you think the creator ever did you wrong, Jerome. This is deep, Ken. This is deep. God never hurt you, ever. Your perception of what God allowed hurt you, not God. But you don't get it. Jerome did this to me. Give Thanksgiving for everything Jerome ever did. See Jerome as the creator. But don't, don't, don't be no yes man. I got you. I got you. Don't be no yes man. See yourself as the creator too. Open your heart. Know the light and praise it. Go ahead. Right now with what you said, you, you know, about God allowing something to happen to us. Um, I respectfully disagree with you. I think we ourselves allow these things to happen to us because we refuse to I, I guess I don't want to be religious you know sound all religious no, but no, no. You're good. I, I, I think God puts certain things in our path and it's us who go against God's will and then therefore we're allowing these things to happen these people to do this to us these people to continue to abuse us whatever what have you you know we do that fair enough that's, that's what fair enough grace first john four and four please diana i want you to pull up oh i wasn't finished Hold on. and then oh, so, keep finishing. Keep finishing. so therefore god then allows those things to happen to us so that we can have a learning experience of Bitch, I told you, you shouldn't have gone down that road. You wanted to go down that road. Now there you go going down that road. Now you're crying. But I'm here. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Absolutely fair enough. Grace, pull up 1 John 4 and 4. Deanna, pull up 2 Timothy 1 14. Y'all put this in the chat first. We get multiple scriptures. 2 Timothy 1 14. Grace, pull up Ephesians 2 22. Deanna, pull up Ephesians 3.17. Grace, pull up Colossians 1.27. I'm only doing this because she brought up the Bible in God, okay? Deanna, pull up Hebrew chapter 3, verse 6. Grace, pull up Wait, John I'm chapter... Lost. I'm sorry. Okay, no problem. And we're going to end after this. Like, I'm going to end in 10 minutes. I'm going to do it down. Wow, I can't believe that's in the Bible. Okay. Well, anyway, a fabulous question. I'm going to start this. over. I, okay, say, thank say, you. Say less, say less. I got it. It's, I do this. I paid $116,000 student loans just to do this here for my memory. 
This is not a problem. Yeah, it's not a problem. Grace, you're going to pull up 1 John 4 and 4. Deanna, you're going to pull up 2 Timothy 1.14. Okay. And then Grace, you're going to pull up them. Have them all pulled up at the same time. Ephesians 2, verse 22. Deanna, you're going to then pull up Ephesians 3, verse 17. Grace, you're going to pull up Colossians, verse 127. Deanna, you're going to pull up Hebrew, chapter 3, verse 6. Deanna, you're going to pull up John, chapter 14, verse 13. That's the gospel of John. And Deanna, you're going to pull up 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16. And I don't care which translation y'all pull up. You said John. Deanna, no, Deanna, I'm, I'm John 14, 13. He, oh. he, he got, yeah. He, oh, he, he was doing one of them. You don't want to talk to. Yeah. Oh, okay. So what was probably, mine? I have no idea, child. I was going to read the scriptures again. The last one after John 14, 13. The very last scripture is, is Deanna. Okay, and that was John 5. I went on John 5. Ephes no, 1 Corinthians 3 16. So we're ending with this because Fabi respectively disagreed. It's a good disagreement. 16. And then do me a favor, Adrian, you got your Bible in front of you? Genesis chapter 1, verse 26. Gonna pull that up real quick. We're gonna start with Adrian real quick. Genesis chapter 1, verse 26. That's what we're gonna do. First off, let me tell you, Fabi's disagreement is fantastic. Fabi's going to discover she don't disagree. She agrees, but she disagrees with the agreement that she agrees with. It's not a problem. Okay, it's not a problem. Adrian, Genesis chapter 1, verse 26. We're going to let her read first. I have no idea how many verses I pulled up. Just know, Tyrell, they all up here. Up here, y'all let me do this. I'm gonna do these rapidly too, and we out of here. We're not going too much over. This is chapter one, verse 26. 26 says, and Antonio is the smartest man alive. The no, I'm just joking. Just, just yeah, kidding, good. just kidding, just kidding. This is yeah, chapter one, verse 26. You, you ran you ran them down though. Yeah, <laughs> you ran them down. All right, look. Y'all, I can't even see the Bible. Okay. Yeah, that's about right. They, they're real small print. Sitting in the dark. Then God said, let us make human beings in our image. All right. You stop right there. That's all I want. I just wanted the A part. I just wanted the A part. Thank you so much, Amy. Just wanted the A part. Fabby, you are in God's image. Can somebody, can, can, I, can I get someone else to put this in the chat so these ladies can read? Can I get someone else to put this in Evidence number one, whatever the hell God is, so is Fabi. Mm. Homoousis is that Greek word of the same substance. So when I said God ain't got this, God allows God this, so does Fabi. But I'm not done yet. Grace, you go first. I have no idea what I gave you. Well, somebody need to put in the, somebody need to put Genesis one through twenty six. Fabi is God. Uh, we are God. That's what I want. Uh, that's what I, Genesis one twenty six. We are God. <clears throat> put that. Somebody put it in chat. It can't be Grace of Diana because they got all the scriptures for y'all. <clears throat> so it can't be Grace of Diana. It's got to be one of y'all. All right, we let them catch up. Go ahead, Grace. Read it out. Is that one I told you to get? First John four and four. Little children, you are from God and have overcome them. For he who is in you is, gr <clears throat> is greater than he who is in the world. Thank you so much. Stop your screen, Grace. Fabi and everybody listening, not only are you God, but God is in you. And that God that is in you is greater than any God outside this world. Okay, Queen Chi. I'm almost done. I'm just rolling this in. Deanna, your turn. Roll, roll them. We roll them. Second mm -hmm. Timothy 1 and 14. Mm -hmm. Guard the good deposit yep, that was entrusted right. to you. That's right. Guard it with the help of the Holy Spirit who lives in us. Stop right there. Okay. Is the Holy Spirit God, Ken? Trinity? Yes. 
is the Holy Spirit God can 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 can, can help us out? Yes. So God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Therefore, yes. thank you so much. Therefore, guard the God in you. Thank you so much. Keep on going. Back to you, Grace. We run it. We run it through this. We run it through this. Go ahead, Grace. Oh no, you're in a different. Oh yeah, yeah. There you go. Have them pulled up. Have them pulled up, y'all. Colossians one twenty seven. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. To them, uh -huh. God chose to make known how great among the Gentiles are the riches of the glory of this mystery, which is Christ in you. Stop the that, Grace. Stop right there. Which is Christ in you. Wait a minute. So what you talking about? We got, let us make man in thy image, Holy Spirit, and Christ is in us. Christ is in you. Go ahead, Deanna. Come on. No, no. Keep these rolling. Keep these rolling. Keep these rolling. Ephesians 3.17. So that Christ may dwell in your hearts. Stop right there. Stop right there. I don't need nothing else. I don't need nothing else. I don't need nothing else. Well, you do say through faith. That's important. But Christ dwells in your heart. There you go. Come on, Grace. Come on. Give it to me. Give it to me because. Give it to me because. Uh, John 14, 13. Whatever you ask in my name, this I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. Stop that. Stop that. So whatever you ask, my name shows up in you, huh? So what, if you ask, in my name, you get God creation power on earth. Thank you so much. Keep on going. Come on, give it to me. Hebrews 3 and 6. But Christ is faithful as the son over God's house. And we are his house. Stop if right there. Stop right there. I don't need no nurse. We are his house. Watch you what you say, Kim. We are his house. This is fine teaching here. Come on, come on. Give me the next one. Give me the next one. Give me the next one. That was it. My point nope. is. Nope. I got another one. I thought it was. I thought it was. I thought it was one more. And I you have. Got a couple of them. You missed the it, you missed I, Second Timothy and Ephesians. Okay. Give me the Second Timothy and Ephesians. Oh, I did. We had another Second Timothy. That's all right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Read this I one got, first. I got First Corinthians 3.16. Don't you know that you yourselves are God's temple? Stop your stop. Stop yourself. And what happens after that? And that you, God's spirit dwells in your midst. Stop right there. Stop right there. God, does God's spirit, Jerome, dwell anywhere else but God's temple? According to the Old Testament and New Testament. Now, you're not going to do it. According to Levitical law, is God's spirit allowed to be outside his tabernacle? But it just said that God dwells in you. Because you became the tabernacle. Bingo. In yeah. the Old New Testament. Testament. No. New Testament, yes. Because, because because you became the Thank tabernacle, you, Ken. though. It's yes, because you became the tabernacle. That's true. That's right. You became the tabernacle. Therefore, God's temple is still not without the tabernacle, and God's spirit is still not without the temple. Adrian was right. I, I didn't do Ephesians 2.22. Give it to me. Give it to me, cuz. Give it to me, cuz. Give it to me. I'm in these in streets. In him, you are also being built together into a dwelling place for God by the spirit. By the spirit. In him, by the spirit. My point is, my friends, Abby is absolutely right. The problem is, Abby has, I mean, actually, Abby, Fabby has forgotten. She is God. See, what y'all let, I'm, I'm, I'm closing. What y'all let me do is tell you God has a perfect will and a permissive will. Show me that in the Bible. I dare you. I dare you show me that in the Bible. I dare you. I dare you show me in the Bible God's perfect will and permissive will. I dare you. I ain't in the Bible. Some charismatic preacher like me made that up. My closing prayer is, Father, in the name of Jesus, let me write that $100,000 $100, check to Antonio before grace. Come on. <laughs> In Jesus' day. <laughs> In Jesus' day. <laughs> so with the three minutes that I plan on using left, Fabi, you're right. You should respectably disagree. See, I didn't have a problem with her disagreement because what she did in disagreement was prove she got all the God power of her reality. Somebody like me got the Fabi first and taught her she's a slave to the things that happen in her life. No, you're a slave. Doulos, Greek word. 
to the joy. You're a slave to entering into the master's joy. It's one of my very favorite scriptures. <clears throat> it's the scripture of the talents. In that scripture, it says, can be faithful over the few. I make you rulers of a man. And two people got said, you know what, you, 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 Tyrell, you, come on, man, come on, man, come on into your master's joy. Fabi, I don't know what's getting ready to happen to you, but I do know God is getting ready to use your whole situation as a preaching point. I know that this I child, you're getting, amen. I know that this child you're getting ready to have is going to save millions. I'm not saying that because I'm saying that. I'm saying I was born under your conditions. Baptized in homelessness. Rebuked by selfishness. Dipped in righteousness, self-righteousness. And I became me. And one of the greatest things I realized along this journey is I thank God I was not raised by my mother. It would have been the worst thing that could have ever happen to me. That's not a diss to all. I mean, no disrespect. I thank God I was not raised by my father. That's not a diss. Kim, I mean, no disrespect, but Phil and Jerome understand, had I been raised by them, I wouldn't be me. So I don't know what the hell greatness your son is going to be, but I know he is so great. As of right now, he only need one parent. That may change next tomorrow, but as of right now, he is being formed by your hormones and your emotions. And your son don't need all that stuff you think he need. He is just fucking fine. And God is just fucking fine with that. Antonio T. Smith Jr., you can't plant better. You can dominate. Thank you all so much. I promise you three minutes. We love you. Love you. Love you more. Wow. Love you more. Love you more. Wow. This is the best night of the week, Adrian. Yes, it is. This is the best night of the week, Adrian. This is the best night of the week. And I'm glad that I got you because I've been missing you, but I definitely do great. Send me the replay because I was in my house and I enjoy every bit of it. If we cry, I cry with you. I did my little I did my little thing. I was like, okay, I'm working. I'm, I'm working on my shit. <laughs> like I can write this down and stuff. Like, yeah, it's so, tough. Yeah, I, it's tough. But I, it's but tough. I love. It's something about you, bro. I know a whole <laughs> lot of people. Okay, you know what I'm saying? I come in contact with a lot of people, but don't nobody, don't nobody sit with my God in my gut. Like you sit with my God and my gut. So that that's a good that's a good ass thing. I'm trying to tell you. We're yeah, gonna change the world. <laughs> we gonna change we the world. <laughs> We're gonna change the world. Grace is gonna send y'all D tonight and then y'all will work on it all week. Okay. You know, all y'all stuff. Yeah, she's gonna okay. send it to you. Does this mean I'm gonna be great too? You're gonna be great. You know bro. what? You're, You're gonna be California. super great. You better yeah. be great. With all them damn muscles after 50. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they've they been getting me in trouble lately, boy, I tell you. Yeah, I understand. Yeah. Yeah. For saying what yeah. you said. Yeah, look, look, you personally mentored by Phil. You ain't got no choice but to be great. <laughs> yeah, that's my guy right there, Mr. Phil. That's my guy, boy. That's my heart right there, Mr. Phil. That's a, you is, that's a word right there, Antonio. That's it. That's I, it. You was I look, mentored I was by just Phil. I looking at my replay a little bit and go, I Man. <laughs> man, right here. Look, everybody can't be mentored right by Phil, man. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much, Antonio, for what no, you, you said. Good. Honestly, I had already felt that, thought that. Sure, I don't know sure, why, but yeah, but I, I 
so when you said it, it kind of just fair enough made yeah. me feel like okay, so my feelings aren't wrong. I'm not. I'm not thinking that my son is going to be great in God's eyes somehow, right. some way. So thank right. you. Yeah, thank you. Gotta be smiling. You gotta be smiling. Have a good time while you're holding it. Have a good time in that room. So, so no matter what, make sure you keep smiling. Yeah, I mean, apparently, Fabi, right now, God says you are enough. Don't, don't make a meaning out of that. No, I give thanks. Yeah, for each moment of you being enough, and that's it. Yeah, I do trust the the meaning fact that I've been pregnant this song this is my fourth pregnancy with Juan and this is the first one that has made it this far so oh well that's my girl oh he'll be back too this is gonna be great I love right I fully expect Juan to be back and I fully expect Juan to come back here I know I I said that already didn't yeah Yeah, I I I fully expect Juan to be back I fully expect Juan to be back I'm not yeah, yeah, I fully expect one to be back. I'm fully, fully expect one to be back. Antonio? Yes, sir. Can I ask you a question? Yes, sir. I mean, we're we, we done, y'all. If you got to go, we yeah. done. We, I love we, you, we, too. We, 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 I don't even know who that was, because y'all know I just seen it. I love you, too. I think somebody, somebody <laughs> doesn't know me. I love you, too. <laughs> I just say thank this you. This happened to me today, Talk to and me. it was powerful. And I said, I need to talk to Antonio about this. Amen. And it might, it might go with what we were talking about today. It may not. A minister who I respect dearly, highly, sent me a voice message today in my phone. This is the second time I made this comment. And I said, God needs to have his head examined. And I said it in light of the fact that he created us, you know, told us what to do and what not to do. We went against what he told us to do. He redeemed us by sending us his son. And then after he did that and let his son die for us, then he made a partnership with us to redeem other people back to him. Anybody who would do that needs to have their head examined. Fair enough. But, but, you know, that's what I, and I said that twice. His comment was, and he said in the voicemail, he said that that comment bordered on um, blasphemy and disrespect. You're right. So I called him You're right. and I said, Hey, I got your message. He said, okay. I says, I says, the reason why I say that is because I have the liberty to express openly how I feel about my relationship with God. And that's how much I have a relationship with him. I say, but that's not as important as offending God's people by what I say. And being that is a possibility you can be assured that in the future, I will be mindful about making that statement. He said, thank you very much, hung up the phone. Now, I took the high road, but he doesn't know how much that hurt me. Look, He didn't come to me and say, hey, what did you mean by that? Or have you ever considered that someone might be offended? By which it, did you ever consider that that might be offensive to God? He didn't go, he just sent me that message. And I went, damn, Um, because I felt like he wasn't respecting my maturity or my meaning behind that. And he didn't get the information. And to me, me making that statement is giving God the highest praise for who he is as God. Why would you take a creation that is every time you turn around, turn to get you drinking and you make them co-laborers with you? Something's wrong with that. But my explanation for that is he needs to have his head examined. And he, who I, and this brother, I respect him dearly, didn't, didn't give me the, that courtesy. And I went, damn. So I said, I need to talk to Antonio about that one because that one got me. Ooh, that one got me, Antonio. Oh, you see, that one got you too, huh? <laughs> and, and I have to deal with him consistently because he goes to my church so i'm sitting there going wow because you know some things you can hide and some things you can't hide but but that one kind of that one got me real good today that, that one got me so Drew, 
You can talk, yeah. Antonio. You can talk to me about it later. No, 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 no. We, 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 Phil, Phil, Phil got it. This is perfect. What kind of God do you have if you can offend him? Shit, Phil. That's right. <laughs> no, that's right. That's, that's good point, Phil. Good point, buddy. No, that's, yeah. that's 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 um... yeah, yeah. And I have a lot of respect for this guy. I really, I really, really do. And I share a lot with him. And I went, wow. You know, I just, I just shook my head. I was like, yeah. But the was... teachable moment, because now he's going to watch you. And don't you change, because that is your belief. And like <laughs> we said all the time, and like I've said, if you are who you are and you believe that, that's what God is honoring, the belief. <sighs> It was a yeah. It was a clever statement that was easy to read past. It was a clever statement, easy to read past. That wasn't hard to read past. That that was easy. That was absolutely easy. But that's what you holding on. That's how they. That's how you know when they hold on. That's what that 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 decency and order and all that other stuff. Trying to hold on to the fact that you are about to step into a higher place than I am, and I'm supposed to be the high. Like you know, my check's supposed to be the biggest. So hold up, you going somewhere that you need to watch yourself because you know it's only one Jesus. He don't need no help. <laughs> you know how they say, you can't do his job. Don't sound like you talking like you Jesus. Like, <laughs> what are you talking about? Like, I didn't even say that, but that's how they hear you because of your elevation in, in learning. See, sitting with Antonio, you'll get further than the people in the church. Because the people in the church is only hearing it from one angle, one degree. And it's the wrong degree half the damn time. Real rap. So if they've never come in contact with an Antonio, because half of them try to cut him off. So that they never hear what he's saying. You know what I'm saying? So that's why he took it in the offense that he did. Because that's all they did. It's just like the January 6th people running into the damn Capitol, thinking that they was going to say something. Cause they mad, they losing something. Yeah, that that still, and still has go to... to your church. Look, and still go to your church, but watch him. Pay attention. He says, "In this day, we will know who they are." Well, Jerome, and everybody ain't getting in. Remember, that's what they used to say. Yeah, I'm 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 going to side with Phil, but I'm gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it differently, but I'm saying the same thing as Phil. And I don't even know if he's still on because I'm not even looking at the screen. But Jerome. Be very leery of the man who is mad at you for talking about God's head when he never seen God's head. I said it the way I wanted to say it. If I send you to hell because of God's head and I ain't never seen God's head, then I have a habit of sending people to hell. Man, go to bed. Let this <laughs> man go to bed. Wow. wow. You wow. The water, that damn, for real though? Make a lot of sense, Jerome. <laughs> I just, I, you know, so keep hey. respecting him. Keep oh, respecting yeah. him. No, keep respecting him greatly. A lot yeah. of respect. Yeah. I don't even want to give you a but. But I'll I'll say this, but I don't want to give you a but. Keep respecting him. Also know where you can't be yourself about God. And, and don't, go, don't go back to those places. Now that remember that didn't happen at your church. That happened in your fellowship with him. Yeah. You clearly, with yourself. Him, clearly with him. Well, he's supposed. he's in charge of the he's in charge of the noonday Bible study, and that's why I made the comment that it was six of us there. But I had made that comment before in another small group, so I think it it offended him before. He didn't say anything, but this time I felt like it was too much for him. So he had to send me a message that said that bordered on bashing me or offensive, being offensive to God. And the, I guess the thing that, that bothered me the most was 
it was almost as if he didn't respect me enough or give me credit enough um, in that situation to, to make sure that, truth. yeah. It's, that you meant something offensive, yeah. Yeah, and, 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 I, and I gotta go back to the scriptures mm -hmm. which said that I would rather not eat meat if it offended my brother. So I said to him that, you know, looking out for my brother's welfare or causing someone to stumble stumble is more important than what I say. Right. So, so if y'all don't know, he's quoting Romans 14. Yeah. You know, that's, that's scriptural, you know? So, so I, I got that. And then I didn't want to justify myself or go into to what he meant or, or all of that. And then boom. And I think he was in the car going somewhere. So the, the conversation was very, very short. And I said, okay, click. And then boom. But, but, but when I heard it, I went, uh, uh, no, he didn't. But what did they say about an offense, though? Isn't it uh, isn't an offense the other person? It's like something that the other person hasn't. Antonio, how do you say it? There's you know something, wrong, like, with, something, something wrong with them. There's something wrong. Yeah, something right. wrong with them. Yeah. Yeah. Right, because of the the way it hit them, like it but, didn't mean that you. But I got it. close. See, I've gotten close to this guy. Yeah. Good night, Damali. We out of here too, man. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and I'm I don't, sorry. No, no. And I don't good. get. And 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 and, and Adrian. I'm one of those people. I'm very cautious about being close to people. Okay. Yeah, I know. That's why you don't want to. Say, that's why I don't want to say nothing. Well, I'm not even him. worried about you being close to him. I'm not even worried. I'm not. I'm not worried about you being close to him. I'm not worried about your relationship with him. That's not what the Lord. So the God in me is not worried about that. The God in me is worried about how hurt you are. Exactly. As you go to sleep, thinking you offended this man. I am ascended enough to know that you have lost sleep because you think you hurt him in some way and that kills you. That's what I'm worried about because you don't deserve that cross mm. of holding his insecurities or, or or just his walk with Christ up because God is not upset with your comment or offended, nor is God upset with him being offended. Your comment was a you were used by God to test his walk with God. Mm. He thought the test was correcting you instead of the test being open to clever and unchurched ways of, under, of honoring God. So he cannot communicate with anybody who is not a preacher. And that is an ineffective ministry if all you can do is talk to preachers god cannot use you watch yourself <laughs> I, I said what i said i mean what i said he cannot talk to a vendor. all he can do is talk to preachers I look like sugar trying to say something her microphone is messed up can I ask a question about that scripture? Yeah. That scripture can, like, so it talks about not offending your brother, right? But do you not be yourself because of the fact that you might offend someone? Right, right. No, it goes both ways. That scripture has two sides of that story. It says, don't offend your brother, but also don't let your brother offend you. Both of y'all. The scripture is Paul saying the Holy, the Holy Spirit is on earth and the Holy Spirit is heaven and heaven is touching earth and you are on earth and heaven is in you and heaven is perfect and heaven is in you and you the temple, then you perfect and you on earth. So you need to act like heaven on earth. That's the point of Romans 14. And this man did not act like heaven on earth. He just didn't. Now, that doesn't mean judge him. That's not what I'm saying, because that's where you can't stumble. But 
I, I I am supposed to. Well, I don't know what I'm supposed to say, Amanda, but I am I am telling y'all up front that if you represent God's narrative and can only talk to other people who represent God's narrative, you don't represent God's narrative. Thank you for that, Antonio. I appreciate that. Absolutely. Yeah, I appreciate yeah. that. Yeah, if all you can do is talk to preachers. <laughs> And go I ahead, sugar. Go, go ahead, sugar. We can probably hear you. She said something. Sugar trying to say something to you. Go ahead, sugar. Jerome, that sounds like a poem. I think you ah! need to write that. Amen. Amen. I think you need to write you better, that. You better stop, sugar. Sugar. What's that? Is that sugar delicious? Yeah. 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 Sure, you're right, yeah. sugar. I yeah. appreciate that. And write that poem because that's a winner right there because that's <laughs> your part. That's my girl. That's my girl. Yeah. 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 That, thing got, that thing got to me. It did. Because it, well, I no, went, it should have got to you because. Say, wow. It should have got to you because you would. There's multiple reasons. It's not just one. It's not just your maturity, God. He didn't respect you. There's, there's like eight different reasons should have got to you. But don't, don't react. Don't react to him like he reacted to you and do it a different way and pretend you didn't do a him on you. Come on now. Come on now. Yeah. Man, don't just, just like, you don't have to pray for him. You don't have to <laughs> send him to God. When you see him, show him your walk. That's it. Just yeah. show him, show him how strong Christ is in you. That's it. Don't, like, don't be uncomfortable. See, you really mastered your walk with God, Jerome, if the <laughs> next time you see him in person, you're not uncomfortable. Okay. Because what's going to happen is he expects you to be uncomfortable. And when you are loving and Holy <laughs> Spirit led and not uncomfortable, it's going to mess up his walk. And mm. He will then have to re-examine your statement and come back to you and apologize at some point. And if he don't, it was just never meant to be for you to God get will that. be tormenting him if he don't, because that's real. Right. And if it really hurt you, then it will torment him because he was just wrong. And you hold him in high regard. I do. So just because I... you hold him in high regard, there was another way of doing it whether it came with a lesson or not. And, and I'm glad that Antonio said what he said. All I can say to you is, bro, I'm apologizing for him. Amen. Now that's Christianity. That's Christianity right there. That's Christianity, what she just did. That's Christianity. Well, age is a goon, so. And, you know, I, and that's what I'm saying. I love you. I and go to so church. were the 12 disciples. I go to church, Bible studies, ask questions. Uh, uh, well, have him walk us through and see what you just said to him so that he can understand it. Yep. Easy. Yeah. And, and, and without a problem. Because unfortunately, that is one of the biggest get-ups in those four walls. And then when the people do come in, and we do come in new with a fresh anointing, it's so weird and so different that they don't know what to do with it. So the, the best thing to do is put it in a box and make it trash, or you know what I mean? <laughs> like they gotta relate to it in somehow, but they can't relate to it as their doctrine because they're the chosen. Right. Man, we it, dying. In they're shit. the chosen. They're, they're the, the children. They're the children. And that's the problem. So, when you, and then when you start to talk like them, like you've been in contact with them, but Antonio, you just said something. Not many people don't understand that if you are doing God's work and all you can do is deal with God's people, you ain't dealing. You're not dealing. You're not dealing. Like you're really not dealing. Like if I heard the who are you saving? Who are you, you saving? Ain't dealing with drugs and and violence and victims and rapes and all types of criminals. Oh what are you doing? Who like you you're saving? not doing anything about the kingdom. I mean, but that was a real- That was yeah. real. You just swapping money, having a good time. Who are you? Who you <laughs> understand, entertaining the damn world. <coughs> That's it. 
Like who you if all you talking is to save, all you talking is to deacons and preachers, who you saving? They saved already. What you you, you any said last week? You said something about your light don't need to shine in light, your light needs to shine in the darkness. Yeah, these guys want to be preachers in heaven. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they already saved. <laughs> they want to be preachers in heaven. Pre heaven don't need no preachers, man. Oh, boy. You would never go find a preacher in heaven. They want to outshine Jesus in heaven. Get out of yeah. here, man. I love y'all. You would man. never find a preacher in heaven. Never. <laughs> never, never. There was one never, preacher never. in heaven. His name was Satan. <laughs> and he had to go. All right, then you see what happened. <laughs> Well, you right. see what happened there. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. No, man. So, Jerome, I, I, what I want you to do is, I want, well, I don't, Adrian, spot on, man. Me and Adrian together. Because when Adrian said, man, I apologize on his behalf, you write, Adrian, because that's what the church is supposed to do. Because one person can represent the church. He did that. So one person can represent the church and Adrian just did that by taking on his sins. Yes. You get what I'm saying? So I'm telling you, God does not, and I get it, that, that, that's trauma. That intrusion will sit in your brain. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's, it's trauma, man. It's trauma. It's spiritual trauma. It's spiritual abuse. Yeah. And I'm telling you, Jerome, is don't you go to sleep with that tonight, man. All right, bro. God right. don't want you to do I'm it. telling you, that thing with that thing bothered me. It really oh, man, did because shit, man. it's trauma, I keep, man. Spiritual I keep abuse. to myself. I don't mess with nobody. A spiritual then abuse, when I, but when I speak, I speak from my heart and I speak honestly. And that was nothing to be offensive to that God. That was comedy. That was just saying that God loves us so much. We so love right. God need his head changed because we keep fucking up, is what you Exactly. Saying. We keep messing him over. Why he keep taking us back? But he does. Because he got to. That's because real easy to understand. That's who he is. That's, that's real who easy he is. To he has to that's take good. us back because he's got to honor his word. That's, that's somebody that taking us back. That's somebody that only want God to save the folk he like. Do you understand? I was gonna tell you, Jerome, I know you got my book. Go to day 19 before you go to bed. Okay. Yeah, real talk. I got your book. You, you know I got it. <laughs> you got the book. I'm telling you, day 19 speaks okay. on it. Because at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. No. But if you believe it, yes. and you can say it, yes. I'm honoring it just because you got enough to say it to me. Even if it's different from what I believe. And yeah. that's how God would do it. Because Christ wouldn't have told you that. But you know what the other thing is? Mm -hmm. If I care about you and you guys on this call that are here, you know I care about you. If you say something to me, I don't want to automatically put it in a place and say, this is what it is because I'm Jerome. I want to give you the courtesy of analyzing it and looking at it and then giving you feedback over what was said other than just making a judgment or making a comment. Yeah. Because you have value too. So Jerome. I need to hear your portion you too. You are a person, Jerome, and that's why you okay. would do that. Jerome, yeah. your reaction. Jerome, your reaction to him will show me what you think about your God. Mm. Oh, yeah. And don't be too buttery. Don't be all like, you know what I mean? But just be. <laughs> Whatever you do. He's going to watch you because he's not going to expect you to show up the same way. Like he Whatever. believes that, that little chip was to bring you. I'm telling you. Whatever that was you do. Like you were stepping out. So therefore he was putting you back in line. Yep. And unfortunately he is yep. not anybody's ruler to put anybody back Jerome, in line. If you withdraw, you, yeah. show me, you show me your God get his feelings hurt. Yep. If you, whatever you do. Whatever Antonio, you do. Antonio, mm -hmm. you know, you, you know, you're SOB, you know that, right? I, I, I am. That's why my ministry is effective. Well, I'm glad you called him one because I wanted to call your minister one, but I didn't want you to be all well, mad. But I tell you, up. you don't want to say it, right? You don't want to say it. I'm telling you. Yeah, the hell is. with him. Fair enough. Look. You, look, he ain't died for you. No, he didn't. He didn't. And he will not die for you. All right, Adrian. You, you, I'm, you, sorry, you, I'm you, sorry. You, you, you were walking you know, hard. Like you walking hard you know, like Antonio. You walking hard. When it gets like that, they start hurting our people. Listen, 
and then want to talk about you when you don't show back up. Shut up. Yeah. yeah. Like, now I, ain't, now I ain't scared of him. I ain't scared not to show up. So that part I'm not yeah, worried we, we about. Too close. We too close for you to be scared. Don't do that. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Well, one of y'all text Grace or Deanna. I want to donate forty dollars to somebody. One Grace is right there. Grace there. Okay. Okay. So one of y'all. One of y'all do that. One of y'all text Grace forty dollars or something. I don't know how it work. But look, however you look at God, however you react, that's what your God is. If I agree. God, man, I agree. It. It's, only, it's the only time I see your God, Jerome. I don't see your God in the good but, times. But that's why I needed to talk to you because, and it's crazy because you're the kind of person that it, it's crazy. I says, I enjoy your relationship with God because your relationship with God is real. Real. It ain't, it ain't pretentious or anything. It's real. I ain't and pretending I love it. in front of none of y'all. Ain't you the same way. It's real. Sugar, it's I ain't pretending in front of none of y'all. I love it. Yeah. And uh, I say, wow. I, I say, I got to talk to Tony y'all. about this one. God so, be cussing me out. Jay, day 19. <laughs> got you, girl. I got you, Adrian. Day I got Tracy, you. Tracy, it'll God make, be like. put it in perspective for you. So that you'll understand exactly okay. what happened. God's so sick of me, Tracy. <laughs> that anger is unmet expectations. Yeah. You never expected him to come no. back on you like that. I so did. That anger built up because you were not expecting that. So because it did happen. Don't just keep letting that eat at you, eat at you. Go ahead, do what needs to be done. And you holding him at such high esteem and then he falls back on you. You really don't know everything that was going on at that time. Mm -hmm. You can't try to justify it, but don't let that anger, don't go to bed with anger because he's expected as being a man of cloth because he's still Mm -hmm. just yeah, true. Yeah. Listen, I'm not. My ministry is effective because I ain't shit. I cannot stress this to y'all enough. It's the truth, man. I am serve and go have I none. I'm this. It's the truth. I am nothing. Go ahead, go ahead, Grace. Well, when you said for somebody to text me, somebody texted me and they said, "I'm texting you now." And then they said, "What am I supposed to say?" I, I, I don't know. <laughs> Text me about oh just um I want to donate forty dollars. No, they were asking me what am I supposed to say because they said I'm texting you but what am I supposed to say? <laughs> oh good yeah. yeah. <laughs> All this holidays I'm trying to donate to everybody. I want to donate to Grace. I want to thank you, wanna, Amanda. Yeah, I want to take the burden off of Grace. I want this is about this is holiday time, y'all. It's holiday time. You know what I'm saying? So it's disrespect me to nickel and dime y'all for fifteen dollars, not for me. <laughs> Not for me. I just, you know, just leave one of them cigarette packs alone and let's just go, let's go adopt a little kid in India somewhere or something. You know what I'm saying? That's it. That's it. It ain't nothing. It ain't nothing. It ain't nothing. You know what I'm saying? So whoever we got forty dollars, twenty, y'all can split it up fifteen ways. Don't matter. But Jerome, real talk, man. I'm glad you. I'm glad you. Let me honor you for getting it off your chest. Cause you didn't need to hold that. Yeah, Tracy's right, man. You didn't need to hold that, man. Listen, I ain't never agree with everything I said. <laughs> Let alone everything somebody else said. <laughs> I can't tell you how many times an hour later I was like, fuck I said that for. <laughs> like you ever said something and felt bad for that shit? Like you know what I'm saying? Like he was just like, damn, I'm like, <laughs> You ever lost some sleep over some stuff you said? But that's I do that. I do that. I do that. Oh, wow. I, I do that. I don't know about the child, but I do that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I do that. This was a great day to spend my birthday. Now, how old are you, the man? We didn't hear you earlier. It sounded like you said 30. 39. 39. Oh, that's, that's isn't that precious? That's, that's 35. <laughs> That's it. That's it. You go up there, you tell your husband it's 35. 
Right. <laughs> Tell him lay down in the Sunni position. I'm in charge tonight. <laughs> That's what you tell him. He back. He back. That's it. That's what you tell him. Now, man, y'all don't, y'all don't hold on to this trauma, man. This trauma. See, here's the deal. That would have killed Jerome. But now that he, remember I taught y'all this a couple of weeks ago, now that he talked about it, that little gap them closed. Yeah. No, can, but this this mm-hmm. helped me because now it's it's not as, as I don't know the word. Nah, go ahead. I don't want to say important. You. It's not as up there with what Jerome experienced. But so last Saturday, Barry Grandma, right? Sunday mm-hmm. I'm at church and we're, everybody's, you know, benediction or whatever, we're getting ready to leave and people are passing by. I'm coming out of the choir stand. And this lady passes by that, you know, I, she, who saw me grow up or whatever. And all I said was, hey. And she looked at me and she said, shut up. I had to say, well, all right, Grandma, wait a minute. <laughs> I had to, you know, cause I was like, I just buried my grandma yesterday. My grandma. My grandmother would have had a few choice words for you. She's like, no, she wouldn't. I said, I almost said she. she who who said I, it to you? Hold on. I must have missed sister. I must no, have. I never, no, up. I never. I hadn't told anybody this. I hadn't told anybody this. Well, whoever, you start the hell over. You tell me this again. Wait, 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 okay. wait, wait. Who we need okay. to who ride on? Yeah. Listen, you I forget all this. You forget all this loving dubby <laughs> stuff I was telling you. I need wrong. a name. It's devil time. So now. I need to fly need down race. there. I okay. mean, you know. Okay. You're, you're okay. Me and you done had the conversation. Yes, yes ma'am. Oh, yes, damn. Ma'am. It's time for yes, ma'am. Who I need, who I need to talk to? Who I need okay. to go knock on door? It's, it's 922. Okay. They still awake. <laughs> It's okay. It's time yeah. for it's Satan. Okay. What about love, y'all? Ain't no love. They was fooling with grace. They supposed to be Christ-like. Sign the cheek. They say I'm going to be Christ-like and go flip a table in their house. I'm That's what I'm going to do. That's what he did. That's what he did. He told up. Told up, baby. What you not going to do. Get him, sugar. Get him, sugar. Yeah. Go ahead. Tell the story over Oh, Antonio missed something. Go on, start the story. No, nah, you ain't got to start over because I ain't going to get mad again. Okay. You good. <laughs> you good. Me a name. I'll find the edge. Don't, don't text. Don't have no names. Oh, Lord. Trace is right. We need to be loved. <laughs> Sugar told me you breaking up the call. <laughs> Trace is right. We need to be loved. I'm sorry, I'm a lover. I'm sorry, Dr. Sugar. I'm a lover. Look at me on the face. But I'd have acted the same way for you, too, Trace. <laughs> Yeah, oh, you, know, you mess with John Calloway, he's strong. Man, let's let Adrian <laughs> say somebody messed with yeah, her. I, yeah, yeah, if yeah, I can't yeah, get yeah. on he's the next strong. fight, I'm finna he's gas strong. up my phone. He's John rolling. Calloway. John Calloway is strong. You don't mess with Grace. Grace oh, don't mess boy. with nobody. She don't. And you got to say, hey, nobody. and you say, you told her, shut up. What the, what? You know, dog on well, Grace don't mess with nobody. I just got in trouble yesterday for being strong. <laughs> <laughs> you remember that? Remember, remember on the night of the keynote Tuesday, uh, and I said, "Hey, I gotta go. Gotta you know, a company problem." Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I got it. I got it. Somebody, I had to get off the call. See, real quick. see, 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 see. You don't mess with. I don't mess with Grace. I knew you wasn't there. Yeah, y'all know Grace don't mess with nobody. I ain't never seen Grace come at nobody. I will take these earrings off. Okay. I will keep these it's locks right. up. Come where where we going? Come on back. Come Grace back. agree with everybody. Where we going? <laughs> Come on back. Grace Give agree with that. everybody all the time. Oh, Lord. <laughs> all the time. Oh, 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 the outer ready. See what you did, Jerome. Where we going? Put your locks down. It's okay. We're not going nowhere. We're here. Anybody can get them. Anybody can get these hands. That's it. Now, you know, Grace Grace does what she's supposed to do. We just got to be careful you about that. see what that. you started, Jerome? You're you, 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 you a different person. I was so put them locks down. Yeah. Right down. 15,000 buildings and stuff. Don't do that. <laughs> that is true. She's That's actually accurate. She's accurate. Look, don't do that. She, we, she, love she's accurate. we love them, but when you move Man, to another theater, exactly. you have to make a food. Thank call. you. Thank you, guys. <laughs> yeah. I appreciate you. Thank you, Tracy. Appreciate you no, guys. We got your back, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But the, the mere fact that you just just as we wrapped this up, the mere fact that he got to talk, he closed that trauma loop. So he may lose a little sleep tonight, but he'll be over it tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? Because that, that trauma loop is closed. We got good time in here. Deanna, go grab the phone. We got good time in here. <laughs>
That's my dad calling right there. So we got to get So you right. So you right. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. All right, All right. Good night. Good night. Y'all take care. All right.